In today's video, I'm going to go over how to defend every single site on every single map updated. I did a video like this about a year and a half ago, and Siege has changed so freaking much since then. And I think it would just be good for the newer player base that's coming in, and especially because of the reworked maps and even the reworked consulate. So that's what I'll be doing. If you guys find any value in this video, please do me a favor, like, sub, comment, and share to a friend, because this took literal so many hours just to go through Ubisoft, please, for the love of God, give give us some assets that where we can just go around and make custom games easier. But yeah, guys, enjoy the from video. This, now, just from this list, personally, here's the order that I would go with these defensive sites. I would start off with Jim, then Church, then Bar, then CC Cash. Personally, for me, I just think that CC Cash is one of the worst defending sites on this map. And yeah. Now, in terms of operator selection, you can get very flexible, just like you can get very flexible on most maps. Castle is a strong operator on this map just because of the rotation capability and castle barricades. So you can run castle. Just make sure when you're running castle, you're castling off the windows instead of just castling off in between sites like a gold. Make feet holes just so if they take a site, you know, you can you can kill them. Um, if you do want to reinforce a, you know, side, you can reinforce one of these quad walls. Uh, the reason being is now you can't get wall banged and you have cover you can hold more of a long angle for this window and you don't get wall bang here from this uh you know workout window the only there, there's not there's not really any downsides in my personal opinion unless they're planning behind you know the weight machine make a rotate here just so you know you can play the main breach if they try to swing or anything if you wanted to you could bring a mirror once again this is up to you you're going to want to reinforce these two bedroom walls um also i would suggest bringing a cade if cade's off the board or thatcher is on the board you can bring a bandit and then you can just bandit trick this wall now if you are going to bandit trick this wall make sure castle is castling that window off the weight window you can castle this door frame off as well and then you can like uh six hit it or seven hit it i don't really remember what the exact hit is but basically you're prepping it so just in case you do need to re uh, rotate you can just punch it and then it'll automatically break but yeah, you, you um, bandit trick that. I would suggest bringing a Jaeger, Wamai, placing ADSs here. From here, you're going to want to make a rotate on gold. Now, make this rotate and not this one, because if you make this rotate, you're going to get shot from window. So yeah, just make that rotate. Um, if you are playing a mirror, I've seen people reinforce this off and then just play the mirror here. Once again, this is all up to you, but I would make a rotate here either or um reinforce that off just so you can have coverage and actually play um retake for construction or not even retake more or less just you can you can contest the enemies make sure you re reinforce the single wall i've seen a lot of people die just because somebody gets on the roof from the ladder up there and wall bangs it when people are rotating through con how i like to do it is make head holes here reinforce off cash completely or you could make a rotation for top red with maybe a shield on the rotation and then you can contest if they're going for cash just make sure that you have a start stack of barbed wire or some piece of utility that can help you on red stairs and then reinforce this double cash wall the server walls are really a few if you have reinforcements left over it could be helpful for anybody that's playing in cash and playing more aggressive but yeah so the main objective when defending this site guys is to really extend out throughout this entire video if you're only watching this portion of the video for clubhouse then cool but i'm trying to emphasize extending out as much as possible guys because that's what a lot of the average players don't really do and keep in mind site setup is situational it could be completely different this is more or less default to me but that's also because i've been playing the game for quite a long time in my champ ranking on pc so champ ranking site setups could be a lot different than gold or silver but that's why i'm trying to explain the fundamentals of why i'm doing this Personally, this is what I would do. Make sure you have a stack of barbed wire or a beeper or something on main stairs as well. Usually people like to run knock in my ranking and just crouch walk up uh, the staircase. So yeah. Um, besides that, like a Rooney would be also a, a solid pick. You can place a Rooney gate on this Logi hatch or anybody trying to contest you. That's very common as well. You could also maybe place an Rooney gate on the gym door here or even on you know site door it's really up to you but some some definite definite operator selections i would say is wall denial jaeger or wamai just for that and you know the rest is really up to you just make sure you have rotation capability whether that's you know castle mute smoke whomever mirror whatever 
And one thing you guys do gotta watch out is for people going below on bathroom. Because if you notice, this is actually all soft, guys. And a lot of people don't utilize this because they don't realize that this is <laughs> a soft, you know, floor. So if you're playing mirror, you can easily get grenaded or just wall bang here. So keep that in mind, guys. Okay, now when going church, guys, they're going to want to bring somebody with rotation capability. As you can tell, on every single map, you're basically going to need somebody with rotation capability. So yeah, uh, make sure you make the head hole here so you can contest anybody dropping moto or trying to run short hole or going down main stairs. And then reinforce these last two walls on the right side. Make a rotation here and then ro uh, make a reinforcement on this single wall. Make a rotation here on dummies and then make a uh, reinforcement on this blue wall. Here's a big no-no that I see a lot of people doing. Like, it's not really a no-no. It's all personal preference. But for me, when I'm defending, I don't like to make a rotate here. I like to reinforce off right here and then make a rotation beside it. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is when you're on the hatch, you can basically cut off anybody's rotation from double into long haul. And I'm just not a big fan of that. So personally, that's what I do. Besides that, you can make uh, one or two little feet holes for ash wall right here. If anybody's trying to run in. Personally, I like doing it because it is a pain in the ass trying to contest main stairs. Besides that, when in terms of operator selection, guys, I would definitely utilize the zombie. I'm not a great zombie player because I don't have that many hours on her, but I've seen some insane zombie. Uh, for example, what I do with a zombie is I like to block off the hatch angles by throwing a zombie on this like little pillar area up here. And then it really blocks any angles from the hatch and cuts them off. Besides that, you can kind of use the zombie as almost like a shield, guys. So like, for example, I can place one right here and then I can have a better angle for main stairs and I can just sit here and cycle peek. I can place some on blue around this area just so I can check oil pit or I can check blue. And yeah, if you guys are not going to play dirt, just make sure that you guys are going deep inside dirt and then reinforcing these double walls off just so you make them waste utility and waste time droning dirt out and all that. Um, if you guys aren't going to play dirt, guys, barricade this up and then place a Goyo canister on this. If you're not going to play dirt and you're not going to bring a Goyo, you need to play dirt. Because what happens with this is people can now, without a Goyo canister, they can now Ash Charge, Zofia Charge, Sledge, whatever, through this and just have immediate angles on the site. But now if you place a Goyo canister on this and they break it, the fire will explode and that's that's huge notification for one you and two you might actually damage the enemies trying to rush so just keep that in mind i know a lot of people just don't like playing dirt but let's say you are playing dirt bring some bring a smoke or somebody with a shield and place a shield around um uh, around this area in dirt make sure you're, you have a wamai or jaeger placing eight like two ads's and some or wamidas in dirt for you just so you can waste time and then you can just throw sit here and throw smoke canisters when the ads or when mines go off just so it's really wasting time and then once all that pressure is gone like all that pressure is getting too much you back off and play close dirt door with your shotgun as smoke and then you can kind of just have your teammate on on dummies box holding an angle getting a refrag and yeah besides that in terms of reinforcements guys make sure you guys get the hatch get the blue hatch and get the moto hatch all the hatches need to be gotten because if they have the hatch open then they have prominent angles for your rotation and that's not a good thing you guys are going to want to roam you guys don't want to sit here bunkering in sight so i would suggest having three people on site and maybe two roaming a valkyrie could, could can be very helpful here um for example like just be, because of info and also you can make these holes here for anybody trying to upside down repel in this window because they're an idiot and they want to upside down repel Besides that, I would also bring probably a cage just for the hatches as well. And I would just pressure off, you know, main stairs and just anybody trying to take map control. The amazing thing about roaming on this part of Clubhouse is you're not really going to spend the entire round roaming most of the time. You're usually just going to waste time, shoot drones, and then rotate off of that. You can go back to site, guys, after a minute of roaming. Like, it, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people think they need to, like waste their entire round trying to waste time but most of the time you're just gonna die for example this is also a good angle for main stairs by the way guys i made the hole too big just for the example but you can also hold main hallway here as well i've seen rats use castle up here and castle themselves off just to have main stairs control uh but it's it's really up to you what you want to do there guys but yeah that, those are the re basic reinforcements and just the basic play style okay now here's the big surprise for you guys that i said bar is better than cash 
Now, when it comes to going bar, which a lot of you guys won't know how to play this. So you reinforce off the stage walls here. I would suggest bringing a castle. I would go castle, but I'm really not able to switch in between sites um, or, or be able to, you know, die in game so I can swap objectives. So you're just going to have to visualize like you're a child. Because Ubisoft hasn't gave uh, given us creators any ability to uh, have creative, creative freedom in these custom games. Anyways, cast off this double. Now, when you castle this off, you're going to have an angle for feet, by the way. And I know you guys like feet. So there you go. Also, you can cast off pool table here as well, guys. And you can pop the hatch just for extra pressure. The main thing that you guys are going to really be doing here, guys, is extending above and just kind of roaming. You could castle this window off if you want. Make sure you guys reinforce these bedroom walls off as well. You can castle um, off this gym window since you guys can play up here if if you want. You guys should play up here. And the last castle is really up to you, to be honest. You could castle this off, uh, Logi, if you want. And then what you're going to want to be doing is having two people above just playing vertical. The great thing about playing vertical here is the entire site basically is, you know, vertical E words. Vertically? What? Um, anyways, so... As you can tell, most of the site is you're able to play vert. Now, I like to pop the hatch since I'm, 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 you know, just being able to rotate. And that's great because now I'm, if anything shit hits the fan, I can just rotate back to site. You guys can also play vertical for kitchen and possibly kitchen hallway if you guys want as well. Um, but basically, you're going to want to extend above. And extending above, it takes a lot of coordination, but it's well rewarded because... A lot of the attackers don't really understand how to play this because they haven't attacked this before. So what's what's going to tend to happen is they're just going to go for that um, stock wall, but then they're, they're not going to realize that you're going to be on the hatch. They're going to try to take lounge, which you can have somebody roaming, like maybe a vigil or something would be good around blue stairs or top red. And you guys can just contest it. Or you can even pop this hatch and be annoying and hold an angle for anybody walking in. Um, or you can just pop it just to mess with them. Or what you could do as well is you could reinforce off all of garage, get castle to castle this off, and then you guys can play this head angle. Or you can just make the head angle just to distract them. It's really all like about setting an illusion that you're that you're there and setting pressure. Besides that, besides castle and whatever operators besides castle, I would suggest going like a maestro, echo, and someone with BPs. Um, because if you have a maestro cam set up around stage and then one in A, this really gives the people that's above and playing vertical information and it's just good for them. You're going to have to be a really good maestro or cam player in general that gives good comms to for this to work and be effective. In terms of other pieces of utility, I would maybe suggest a Malusi, a Finier coming into this season. Uh, he's a great operator. You can set his Finier charges wherever the hell you want. Um, for choke points and it's going to be really hard for them to just take map control when dealing with all this pressure from the defenders basically you want to extend out guys as much as possible and make sure you're calming um this site is not really good for solo queue because people have no idea what the hell they're doing but that's why i'm making this video so i can normalize this site because cash is one of the worst sites in the game okay so you guys go cash now first thing you want to do is make sure you bring somebody that has a shotgun like smoke mute I would really suggest the smoke though. Make head holes here, not this big though, because they might be able to vault through them. As you can tell, if you get an angle, you can vault through it. Don't do that. Um, make holes here for the jump up. You can also make ho holes here for throwing C4s or anything um, and just peeking if you jump up on the box. Go over here and make a rotate on red. Reinforce this middle single and you can make a head hole here on the other side just for anybody that's going con. Make sure you reinforce off the flat wall, the single wall here, and all of garage, like four walls. In terms of operator selection, what I suggest is definitely going a, a zombie. Now, what a zombie is going to be doing is she's going to be playing rafters and playing off her rocks for rafters. I would also suggest maybe a Wamai or Jagger. If you're going to pick a Wamai or Jagger, be sure to give the person that's in garage ADSs or Wamai discs. Finier, I think, would be really strong in this map as well because, for example, you can put a Finier charge on top red and then when they walk up, they'll be blinded and the person that's playing top red can act off that and kill them. A lot of people tend to not put any utility on red and that's really just a free entry for the attackers. So make sure you do that. Besides that, I would also bring probably a Cade 
bandit or mute if thatcher is on the board bring him bring a bandit so you can bandit trick um if they don't have a thatcher you can just bring a cade and then place the cade charges like in the invincible spots which is right there and right there um if they do bring so if, if they don't have a thatcher or they do have a thatcher i mean make sure that you're playing downstairs and you're actually pressuring anybody that's going down here you can be a little bit extra and make some head holes here this is really great guys because if you guys lose garage control then the person that's roaming can kind of retake lounge area and just you know pressure anybody going into garage or up garage or on a drone or trying to play post plant it is very effective so besides you know uh, anybody that can make rotates uh jaeger will my azami and uh, i forgot who else i said smoke the last pick is really up to you um the issue why a lot of people lose this site specifically is because how aggressive they play and not just uh, playing off one another so I, i'm just not a big fan because there's a lot of choke points and there's not a lot of good rotation capability compared to the other sites on this map but yeah that's how i would um set the site setup up i would also reinforce off the single wall and then pop this hatch for rotation capability in terms of where, what sites i would go i would go laundry first meeting second dorms third and then kitchen dining fourth but you know you're not going to go these sites four rounds now in terms of operator selection you can get very flexible on this site i would always suggest going like a smoke just for the elbow extension <laughs> you could technically go chachanka if you don't want to go the smoke that's really up to you if you want to innovate on in that way i like to keep it nice and simple basically make all these holes that i'm making right now as smoke or chachanka if that's what you're doing don't reinforce single wall because you are trolling if you do that reinforce the hatch make the head holes for ebox reinforce this reinforce box off completely i've seen people make holes here the reason why this is bad is because now you can't retake box and pressure the people bunker bunker so yeah reinforce the wall beside the elbow wall i've seen people do either or of closet holes personally i like to do this hole so i can hold a long angle but i can see why you wouldn't want to do this because once again if you are rotating in here you can get shot so it's really up to you if you want to make it right here i just prefer to reinforce this and then be able to hold down laundry and then you know retreat back and whatnot put a shield on elbow make sure it's as far back as possible you're also going to need a jagger i would not say bring a wumai over a jagger um just because you know putting two ADSs or three ADSs elbows a lot easier than throwing down Wilmidas and waiting for that to happen uh you could bring I don't know Rooney would be really good if I were to put a Rooney gate I'd put one on double right here I would put one on site door and then the last one's really up to you um a mute would be really good right here as well just because you can put a mute jammer right here on the double and then you can put one for the elbow for the Flores we're just thinking about them going for a backstairs presence so make sure that you guys have some type of utility on the bottom of backstairs slash mid um whether that's barbed wire lesion mines whatever whatever just make sure the barbed wire isn't too far down because if it is it allows them to establish some control and then you know get an angle on pillar that they shouldn't be able to get make sure you have one person positioned in freezer just holding for anybody trying to crouch walk at the start of the round make sure that you guys barricade bottom laundry stairs because they might just try to establish this map control very early so doing this is a w you can get very flexible like i said with operator selection so it's really not that not that deep um i would just always say bring a jagger and then like a smoke that can make rotates and all that make sure you have somebody on pillar make sure you have somebody elbow make sure you have somebody freezer and the last two is really up to you how you play it you can contest t2 um if you really want to and then you can have somebody maybe ebox playing off of smoke if you know he needs it um and yeah so that's that's basically it guys okay so let's talk about meeting kitchen first off reinforce the single wall you're going to want to make a rotate on the box here in terms of operator selection once again this is one of those op uh maps parts of the map that you can get very flexible reinforce this these double meeting walls that one and then this one you can bring a castle and if you bring a castle you can castle off double right here <clears throat> you can pop the hatch and if you pop the hatch you got to make sure you're playing t2 um reinforce these two walls right here you can make a rotate in attic just so you can be a little bit more spacious and annoying and contest the people with t2 so you can't just give them t1 and t2 and you know they have to work for that map control i wouldn't really say play for your life and just die i mean uh, play for the death but 
I would say more play for your life if you're getting pressured too much push back with the remaining reinforcements reinforce dorms so this double right here pop this hatch if you need to reinforce this wall and um any other walls up here make a rotate right here and reinforce these double walls um that should be one two three four five six seven eight nine and then if you put one on that far right wall ten uh you should just have enough for this <clears throat> in terms of operator selection like i said it's very flexible you can bring i would say bring quite a bit of um utility like malusi would be very solid especially for green hall you can put a bulletproof cam right here maybe a rooney gate on this single door a rooney gate on this other single have head holes here uh maybe make a rotate and then with that castle like i said you can castle this security door off if you're wanting to pop the hatch and then <clears throat> just have somebody playing in meeting playing uh somebody like playing t2 and then another person playing in kids with that person always have a body around site just in case they try to make a hero play and just so the person can get on cams um place the malusi another banshee like around this kitchen door area and then maybe just one bottom white area because you're going to have people that's going to be trying to jump in and pressure the person that's upstairs so that one person that i said that would be in sight you can make you can make holes for the jump in for double window here and that can be very effective as well um <clears throat> sorry i uh, sorry for my throat i got silliness in it uh but anyways and then you guys will try to play your life upstairs if anything happens and you guys just need to rotate and you wasted enough time drop the hatch and yeah the enemies will try to open up this double wall so you should bring honestly a mute when it comes to denial because mute you can mute off that double right there you can mute off uh any of the door frames where they're trying to drone out and you can stop them from getting any of these single walls <clears throat> jesus christ because a lot of teams will also try to maybe go for a garage open up this wall take zulu control and then start pressuring the guy's security uh and they'll also open up this double wall and they'll almost basically try to sandwich you so yeah but yeah this is how i'd set up site as you can see all the head holes all the all the holes just in general when you're playing vertical by the way i, I forgot to mention this i'm so sorry when you're playing above in kids you can make this hole for their walk-in on green and as you can tell <laughs> it's another annoying angle that they have to watch watch um you can also make holes for the walk-in over here as you can tell like it's gonna be very hard for them to walk in if you really want to get sneaky and annoying and and nobody's contesting you you can try to make a hole for security as you can tell it's right there the only issue you're gonna have here is you might get shot from big window so if you have an extra castle you can maybe castle this off but this site is very flexible like i said okay let's go kids dorms now this is very simple make sure you make the basic rotate um from kids to attic you will reinforce off this double attic right here malusi is really good on this site so keep that in mind if you do go malusi you can place one above the hatch here and then pop the hatch so then they can't just you know get close to it and try to sledge it uh make head holes on this attic right here reinforce the right wall as well reinforce this double wall right here you can also make holes for anybody going classroom make sure you're punching out or shooting out the all the windows um the glass on it so you can hear if they try to cock an aid below you might be able to jump out and be sneaky but that is a, a big rat play like i said reinforce that you can make feet holes here reinforce that side pop the dorms hatch just for rotate capability make a reinforcement on the dorms wall here and let's just say that you're going to stand out because i feel like a lot of the player base and especially the people that will be watching this video a lot of you guys need to learn how to win your defensive rounds besides just running around like rats so i'm gonna emphasize just extending out so as you can see what i mean by extending out you're holding so many of these different long angles right and it doesn't matter who you go it's really up to you i would suggest honestly maybe a frost that goes here you can place a frost mat on top army or you can place it on on plat as well you can also get sneaky and put one by the mattress that's a very annoying one uh might throw the enemies off and you can contest them from getting the main wall in terms of operator selection make sure you, that you bring a cade or if cade's banned for some reason i would say maybe a mute mute in my opinion would be better than a bandit because overall they're going to go below and shoot it off so at least you have um drone deniability place a mute jammer on bolo maybe have the mute play on bolo or whoever has a shotgun because they can just easily swing the people and help the person that's in 
um army if needed they can also play in trophy with that frost until they get pressured and they can fall back and then you also have somebody playing attic side and then they can just play the head hole and once again you're complimenting the person that's in armory because then the person that's coming master they have to worry about two different angles they have to worry about the army angle and then they have to worry about these dumb head holes the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is maybe getting grenaded from attic window so make sure you have a Jaeger or Wamai and they put the ADS or Wamidas for you. Um, I say a Rooney would be also a very good pick on this because you can a Rooney gate the double window so they can't just jump in. You can a Rooney, Rooney gate Bolo, but this might mess up your mute just trying to swing. So just keep that in mind. And the rest is really up to you guys. Now we're on Kitchen Dining, which if you want to go to this site, cool. I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of this site, so it's all good. Uh, make a rotate into showers reason why I'm making it here and say not here is because anybody trying to rotate into site if the attacker somehow gets shower control they can't have a direct cutoff so yeah put feet holes here and then reinforce this right wall um or head holes it's really up to you I prefer either or it doesn't really matter place a shield somewhere in showers like around this area just so you can play off of it and if they try to just run in or go window you can at least contest them make sure you bring a Jagger. so place the ADS maybe on this side or a little bit more tucked so you know they can't shoot it off bring a cade or bandit for the main wall reinforce these double walls right here make a head hole right here make a rotation on security just so you have once again a place to rotate if needed off the hatch reinforce these meeting walls and then in terms of utility you can kind of do the same thing as you did for meeting you can place on a rooney gate here and then place a bulletproof cam right here and this can watch green if anybody dies or you can just swap onto that cam you're going to want to extend above once again maybe don't pop this hatch um like my dummy ass just did because you know you don't want them getting that vert control but anyways make the holes for the jump in if you guys are going to decide to play above you can also make holes for um white white walk up or i mean not white uh freezer as you can tell you're really going to want to hold down showers area just contesting them and you can even get really annoying if you guys honestly wanted to make a head hole on this and then reinforce this this is not like default this is just something more <laughs> more to be honest annoying for the attackers because now you can hold a long angle but if you guys somehow all die or you guys get early picked that's more pressure on you guys so if you were going to do this you could put a rooney gate on this and you could put maybe a shield or like a maestro cam all the way back here that can be watching it and just watch the run-in that's honestly up to you um but the main objective would be to just to make sure they don't go for this main wall right away try to bandit trick or cage trick or anything um they can go above and play vert so just watch for that and then retreat but you're gonna have to really play off of one another because it's such a tight and weird angle i mean weird area to hold weird angles so just make sure you guys are playing off one another extend above rotate off when you need to and just come back to site um i would also suggest bringing lots of barbed wire and malusi or you know finier wh wh whomever just to watch zulu make sure they don't come up freezer and uh and yeah so yeah that was oregon okay now the consulate rework is very interesting because they changed so much stuff and consulate now in my opinion is pretty decent i don't care what you guys say make sure that you actually are giving this map a chance so that you know <laughs> you can actually enjoy it anyways so let's first we reinforce off this death belt we go over on to a you're going to want to be actually extending out and playing you know admin so you can do quite a bit here you can um uh, add rotates if you want personally since it is a new map this will be very difficult to you know attack for the enemies now you can make a rotate either right here or you can make it here um the only issue with having this one here is if you are trying to just you know rotate between the two you'll be immediately exposed and you don't have any room for cover you can reinforce this middle wall off like i'm doing and then you guys can also just play even like copy room area you just gotta wait for watch for the window and you guys can basically just play crosses and whatnot um castle could be very effective on this site as well you just gotta play it properly you can castle off a spiral if you are wanting to just for the long desk rotate you guys will be fine so you guys can also Come over here and you guys can reinforce this wall right here in meeting now if you are doing that admin strat and you want it to get a little bit funky you can add head holes here or like as you can tell like a longer angle if you do make that uh, left side rotate 
and you can kind of just uh give your teammates assistance when they back off um and make sure to reinforce these walls now when it comes to the console side over here in terms of operator selection guys it, you can really just mess around and see what works for you i would always suggest bringing somebody uh, especially on a newer map that gives you a lot of info so somebody like valkyrie would be amazing because there's so many different new angles that you can throw them in especially on on over here on b-bomb so valk would be pretty strong here trap ops in general would be great especially with an operator like finier where you can cover so much ground um and of course you you have somebody like jaeger that can stop any deny uh, anybody trying to uh you know nade burn etc and you know that can that can really help you um putting head holes here could be very effective because if they come yellow and they're pushing yellow then the person can just you know peek this and you know not you know can, can play off the person and connector as well and then you guys uh will be a-okay now if you make head holes here reinforce this wall as well once again the main purpose of putting head holes like this is just so you can pressure pressure the defense and have them you know on their tippy toes um reinforce this wall don't make head holes there uh unless you have a specific strat but yeah when it comes to operators like and the rest is really up to you i would just highly suggest bringing like a velk um make sure you're you have somebody with barb or you know something for these staircases whether that's a goo mine or whatever whatever and basically your guys's main objective is going to be playing uh like horizontal have two bodies around admin you guys can hold this down pretty well and waste a lot of time because they're going to be stuck on these windows they might try to nade you from below so or come up this visa staircase so you you do just have to worry about that as well pulse can be very effective overall because most of the map is c4 -able, so that that can just be great besides that you're going to want to place two bodies around b area whether that's contesting yellow um and then somebody playing the head holes you're basically just contesting them just make sure that you're placing your utility in ways that they're not going to be able to just get in the site like for example i see a lot of people um putting barbed wire like right at, at like door frames and whatnot and there's nothing on yellow so barbed wire you're going to be able to just get intel off of it so for example you put a stack of barb on yellow right here on top yellow you guys reinforce off yellow wall then if anybody is coming up you have a few seconds to react to the person either trying to run through the barbed wire or just punching it consulate is a good map you guys just need to learn it and get some time on uh i only got got to play it in the um the play test like with all the content creators like we played this season early the thing that sucked was like i haven't gotten to play it in ranked yet because i know the map it's just it is pretty pretty annoying don't mind my yawn please also if you guys didn't know you you can create uh head holes for anybody trying to walk up you know spiral this is a really cool angle you can also get some of you know the lobby area over here it's not the best like lounge uh area but you know uh, uh you might be able to cook something up also make holes here for lobby as well if you guys were wanting to this is right by the death balcony wall um anybody trying to come downstairs you can get a quick peek on them but yeah that's how i would hold console it console and then next on downstairs you're going to want to reinforce garage walls i would make some head holes here now the good thing about these head holes is with the new observation blocker tool you can put place it here and if they try to drone you out you can be a little bit special if mirrors on the board you could do a mirror strat here i haven't really see, saw it done yet but that could be really cool be sure to make a rotate here on you know default uh boxes honestly like once again a mirror would would go hard on one of these soft walls like maybe right here and then you know you can shoot anybody going uh yellow and then swing um i'm i'm going to expect a lot of people to pressure backside so make sure you reinforce this cafeteria make sure you reinforce is there did they uh, keep that yeah the hatch reinforce that and then in terms of util i would bring somebody that can and reinforce this hatch sorry uh that can really cover ground so malusi would be amazing because you can place one on the bottom of spiral and anybody trying to take you know creep up backside is going to get wubbed same with the cage area or the walk-in on site hams is going to be really helpful so like a maestro um echo would be pretty strong basically you're going to want to have one of your teammates playing in this little security area over here and basically what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be playing your cams as maestro or you know echo whomever doesn't really matter uh you can go ahead and just reinforce this off if you want to and then you can still peek for yellow maybe place a shield around this area if you guys have a shield that could be good and then make a rotate here just so you know you have the rotate capability 
um and just play your cams here and just wait for any drones intel swap through cams it doesn't matter when it comes to backside this is something you're gonna have to be worried about personally i would make a rotate here for blue and um get some util on on top whether that's a metal device or you know barbed wire just just something for intel because since you are making that rotate it is quite dangerous now you're gonna also have to watch out for this little you know secret area because people will enter here i think a lot of people do forget about this maybe put a stack of barb here or like a wub somewhere here as well um and the reason why i'm putting so much emphasis on this back area is because a lot of people do push back here now because they don't really know how to play the map yet so you could do that also you could have head holes here to to um for your teammate for you guys to play across so if anybody does come down the staircase and tries to you know kill the person that's roaming back here you can get that off in terms of operator selection like i said definitely bring like a maestro or echo that would be very strong um a mute cade bandits anything for the wall i would suggest a cade or a mute though besides that it's really up to you malusi would be super strong on this map and besides that you have a lot of filler picks so you can go finier if you want well my would be good or jaeger um or just somebody with like a scope that can hold longer angles since you're doing uh where's this hole you're doing this long angle to hold it and just make sure you have utility for the staircase and for this secret area and then of course the spiral stairs i i wouldn't i'm not saying don't roam you could definitely have like if you guys want to have a, like a little bit of a roam strat to contest it's never a bad thing unless they're just trying to rush site but you just gotta watch for the vertical play because just like old consulate the vertical play on this map is freaking annoying thankfully of course you have a which is fine but then you have b which they can open up the hatch and get so much prominent angles and honestly that's really hard to uh sit sight with that so when it comes to having the maestro which i keep saying bring the maestro make sure you place at least one maestro cam back on site because that's what's really going to give you guys the information and you you know don't have to uh worry about them trying to get an immediate plant you guys could pop the hatch up here when somebody runs upstairs to get the hatch just so they think that you guys might be third floor and you can waste quite a bit of time throw, like uh having them drone all that area just for you guys not to be up there all right i hope that that, that that was kind of a lot of information guys i'm sorry if it's a little bit confusing it's kind of hard explaining the newer map um in terms of like because like a lot of people haven't seen this map played yet so just know it is a learning curve but it's a good map it's fun okay oh, there's so many angles also reinforce these back walls man now tellers is probably one of the most i i think this part of the map is a strong site but the problem is with people is they don't really know how to defend it so i hope this is going to explain it well so when you go upstairs you guys should reinforce this main wall and when it comes to operator selection i would bring a pulse um a zombie would be good and the reason why you're bringing these two opt is because you guys are going to be playing mainly downstairs castle would also be good because castle limits how much uh area they can take now what you could do is like i'm doing right now make some holes for the jump in on window and then make a hole on the door frame controlling make a hole on door frame here so if they do try to walk in you know they'll get killed and then reinforce this back wall basically what you guys are going to be doing is primarily playing downstairs now you can make all the holes that you want for a uh, visa window etc etc it, it's all good just make sure pulse stays alive reinforce this wall reinforce any walls that uh they can just wall bang you and from here what you're going to want to be doing is hassling off this coffee door right here so you know pulse doesn't get shot in the ass you guys can make a rotate in blue and if you guys are going to do this set up like a shield on it or set up a shield right here and then maybe place an azami if you guys bring a zombie right here and then you have the zombie watching out and that gives you kind of that cover just so if anybody is roaming they can kind of retreat back into sight if needed if they are trying to waste time and shoot drones and whatnot um that can be very solid make sure you guys also reinforce this visa hatch so they don't just you know pop it and run down reinforce this back wall and the hatch as well and then place some utility for electrical um whether that's you know once again a malusi device or whatever whatever doesn't really matter um make a rotate so you guys have quick entry into you know site if they start planning into a and they try to get a rush plant down and then from here you guys are just going to protect pulse and solace if you are guys are bringing both or one or the other 
and then make sure you just bring people with also c4s so pulse has a c4 um there, there's tons of ops with c4 valkyrie etc and you can even set up like cams like insight that will you know help you for the wall but yeah like you really want to stop them from just getting the plant down like it's it's pretty simple to be honest it's so difficult pushing downstairs especially if you have shield set up and malusia devices and all that so just your main focus will be downstairs i think this is one of the stronger sites it's just it's going to take time for people to wrap their head around how to play it now piano is an interesting site as well because it has changed like for example we have this closet over here which leads to like <laughs> the back of console console i mean um and as you can see like the the, the map just feels completely different from the old map so like for example you see like that we're now in west corridor b bomb is like it, it just feels so odd so what you want to do is combat this is on defense you can make a rotate for lobby and from here you can do a lot of things so this wall right here this leads into the bench hallway so i'm assuming they're going to try to uh go for this this is going to be a very common wall that people are going to try to get so make sure that you um reinforce those two walls back here on bench make a rotate between sites reinforce the hatch reinforce these walls and reinforce this left wall or if you're yeah yeah just reinforce off the, that wall or you can flip it and just you know make the rotate on the right side and then reinforce this and then what you guys are going to want to bring is maybe a castle i would suggest castling off this visa hall door and if you guys want to um lounge lobby area the only thing about that is you're kind of just tr not 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 that single i mean like this uh double my fault um reinforce off this bottom and then you guys kind of have more leg room to just move around reinforce these two lounge walls and this will contest them for just trying to push through lobby um this also gives you area to just push back if they open up this castle a mirror wouldn't be bad here to be honest like if you place a mirror on this wall and then you guys can just swing from here you can open up head holes here maybe reinforce this or even make a rotate and reinforce this right wall like i said and then you have rotation capability cams would go really hard on this side of the map as well like a maestro cam for late round type situations malusi is always going to be amazing guys and the rest is really up to you but your main focus should be contesting lobby playing site and if you want to have somebody playing upstairs playing uh, these holes and whatnot you can but I don't know how effective these holes are going to be. And ranked, it depends on the rank, to be honest. And even a Solus could be great because everything's bangable, right? And it's not like they can just hide away somewhere. Um, besides like this back a, uh, B wall. Because as you can tell, it's concrete. So if they try to plant A, this is going to be amazing for Solus. But once again, you also do have this rotation. So that's great. Or you could play under because, you know, you have all the holes. I mean, all the floor that's... Uh, destructible unless they plan on the piano then you're kind of screwed but personally that's how i would play consulate and in terms of operator selection once again we're, we're in a very interesting meta in terms of picks so you can make almost any lineup work as long as there's um utility being used properly in terms of what maps in terms of what sites i would go i would go ceo lockers open area and then archives okay so what you're going to be bringing here is someone with rotate capability because as you can tell you're going to make head holes for top square you're going to make a rotate over here in janitor holy hell what is what is what is a shotgun oh i don't have a laser on um you're going to be making these rotates as you see make sure you uh reinforce this wall right here like these two walls make sure you reinforce these two walls always prep the glass guys because you never know when if somebody's going to just repel up and it gives you this sound audio now you can come over here and reinforce e3 as well you're you literally need to especially for lobby takes now you can make the head hole here as well for trump and what this does is you it allows you to hold a very very long angle from trump in the top square um you can make both these head holes and then make a head hole right here and then reinforce off this wall this allows you to play so many different long angles on top square that it's going to be so hard for the enemies to just push in reinforce this wall as well by the way and you know uh, i don't have the shotgun hole done properly high enough over there so as you can tell like if you're holding right here you know you can see them run in and whatnot uh from here you're also going to go over here on stock guys and make feet holes on the stock 
The reason why is if they jump in, should be pretty simple and self-explanatory, but you might be newer to the game. So if you are, hi, <clears throat> um, hope you're enjoying the game. In terms of operator selection, once again, just like any other map, guys, you can get very flexible. Bro, this dude ugly as shit. But <clears throat> I would suggest bringing some type of denial for this E3 wall, like a Cade, Bandit, Mute, something. Just so if anybody repels up on the E3 and they go for a lobby take, they can't open this wall and they need to burn for utility. I would also suggest probably like a Wamai or a Jaeger. You can place a Wamai disc or um, Red Spiral here. And anybody trying to chuck and burn for the Mew will have to waste so much utility. <clears throat> Lucy is a really good operator on this site as well because you can place a, a Mel device on Marble. You can place one on um, Spiral here. And then you can place one like janitor hall this janitor one is very effective and it is super annoying for the attackers because after they push in top square they have to push into all these different angles so yeah also um uh, operator like castle could be very strong here i personally go him all the time uh just for the windows and you know um this double window right here as well because like th th when they're on these repels <clears throat> they, they just have a good cutoff but they're not going to be sitting on this repel the entire round and if they are, then they're probably just baiting. And in terms of the other operators, it's really up to you guys. Um, I would honestly just tr try to have a body on E3. Maybe like an echo or something. Having an echo cam somewhere in lobby can be very effective. And then someone sitting in uh, janitor or stock. I would suggest somebody maybe just at the start of the round stock, shoot cams, and then rotate off if able. And then have somebody in janitor. And then someone else just in sight. You can have somebody roaming uh just to you know maybe c4 or you can wait until the round progresses and they start to take top square then you can kind of just drop the hatch and then maybe you know run back and try to c4 for top square but yeah just make sure you have utility that will stop them from creeping and being little rats because staircases on bank are you know very important so if they get that control that's gonna suck and you guys are gonna probably lose the round okay so for some reason i picked archives because i'm an idiot i thought i went basement so we're just gonna rock with it okay guys so make feet holes over here now once again this is gonna be your last priority site i think this site is kind of ass but whatever if you somehow end up going here then that's what's up if mirrors on the board you can place a mirror right here with a reinforcement and then you can just play that contesting anybody going lobby place a shield somewhere on this door um and you can also make holes here for a c4 uh i used to love doing this back when uh, uh everybody would play this map from here you can also make a rotate a vaultable one into this office and then pop the hatch pop the hatch just so if they try to you know to get this control they have to get worried about two different angles reinforce off of both of these walls like the middle one and that one uh if you want to you can make another rotate to cafeteria just so you're keeping the you know attackers on their feet you can open up the, these footholds just to be annoying as heck if you really wanted to get annoying once again you can also maybe make a head hole for uh blue and anybody coming up that area but you know that might screw you over so i wouldn't suggest that reinforce off this single here and then basically you're gonna have somebody you know playing this staircase going late into the round just uh denying them from running in as you can tell you get a long angle on that and then you have e2 control but once again like this site is pretty funs um compared to other ones you're also going to have to have upstairs presence so you're going to have somebody roaming up here probably two people i would say so if you can if you have that utility you can make a rotate in janitor you also have this you know hatch pop for any rotation capability I wouldn't suggest popping stock hatch because this is going to screw the person over in top uh in in downstairs and open area but you, you're just gonna waste as much time because if they get vertical control early on they're gonna have every single angle possible and for the attacker uh for the defenders that's in sight it's gonna be super hard for them um so operator selection i would just bring somebody with a shotgun that can make rotates you could bring a castle here uh and castle off this you know double right here reinforce these two walls right here and it makes playing you know the marble staircase a lot easier you can also uh put a castle on this double right here with these footholds and it, it will make it so hard for them to just take this control you can castle off of this electrical room 
um and then the last castle is really up to you you can place it on the window here so anybody trying to rotate in between sites they don't get shot in the in the face um so that's how i would i would play this once again if you have a mirror play a mirror here and then yeah but this is the worst site compared to the others now let's talk about lockers so you're gonna want to get every single hatch get that hatch get the elevator hatch get the lobby hatch that's right having a stroke I, I keep forgetting they moved it lobby hatch that's right here um in vault and then the main hatch which is right there so you're going to want to make a rotate um personally i will personally make a vaultable rotate here because if you make just a rotation one then they, if they take sight they can just run through sight so you're forcing them to get that vault prompt um you're gonna want to make head holes as you can tell right here and right here this is this is situational but i would suggest this because what you can do is have somebody playing garage like honestly a rook in this situation wouldn't be bad because he has the 2.0 so you guys can hold like very long angles and that would be dope and then from here you can also um make holes in this wall and then like this wall as well i wouldn't make it so they can run in i kind of just overcompensated my shotgun but you, you want to make just head holes the reason why you're doing this is because instead of them getting server control also get the satch by the way also them just getting server control very early on they're gonna try to open up both these walls and what's so annoying about this is they will try to have to put a thermite breach down and they'll open the wall for free they could just also swing in and shoot the stuff off or somebody on the hatch can shoot the stuff off so this is why i personally like not reinforcing these and just making head holes and then having a maestro cam around this area with some ads's on the a chassis that's protecting the maestro cam and it, it's also just good for the long angle because the people that's going to be coming into server they're going to be shell shocked coming down blue and then noticing that they're getting peaked right away so that's that's why i do those holes uh reinforce this wall reinforce this wall and in terms of utility guys i would suggest definitely bringing a malusi a maestro um a Jagger, and then the last two is really up to you. Just make sure you're putting a Wub or a Banshee, aka a Banshee, on marble, and then one right here is really good, and the last one's really up to you. Have a body in server. You can also have the last ADS for the person in server. And basically, once you, you reinforce that, and you have maybe the last Banshee uh, blue door over here where they walk in, and you can just waste so much time doing this. And then you just have two people roaming. Um, I would also suggest one of the people being a smoke by the way this is one of smoke's best maps in terms of like just his utility is for example you can even play you can play this far back and you can just smoke it off or you can play right here and you can just smoke it off like it would be super freaking easy to do some stuff like that but uh yeah so whoever you pick you, like the other two people that's not anchors you should definitely have them roaming together personally what i like to do is i like to play open area and I just like to shoot as many drones as possible. Maybe pop this hatch and then, you know, go from there. The reason why I'm doing this is because um, and when they're droning in open area, they send in quite a few easy drones and printer. So while the two people are in open, I literally usually ask somebody to play marble passively for this beeper's angle. Now, the reason why they're doing that is because anytime somebody comes E2 to lobby and they try to uh, pinch with the people going printer, they have to worry about another angle so yeah that that is how i would uh i would play the site okay now the best site in my opinion is definitely open but it takes the most coordination so first off you're going to want to start out making feet holes for the printer jump in you can castle off this uh double right here or you can castle off printer personally i would suggest this double right here reinforce this off the little single um i like to make as many head holes as possible and then i like to also break the desk like for late round drops because these guys will try to get the stock hatch and drop um but reinforce off this stock hatch guys i like to also pop the hatch there make a rotation into archives god damn this shotgun is really not not doing me any uh justice today reinforce off this double make feet holes into tellers right here guys oh my god god bro i would suggest bringing somebody else that has a shotgun as well with castle because as you can tell like this thing got three bullets in the in the mag and then you have to reload uh so it is not fun so what uh castle off this single right here 
you can castle off this uh window right here or this door right here it's really up to you which one of those or both but i would just do this door right here and then you can shoot off any ace charges or anything on this quad wall reinforce all of this uh quad wall um and then castle off this double and then make a rotation rotation station jason mason facing Jason. yeah make a rotation in the staff room reinforce the two walls on the rotation you can pop this hatch for a rotation as well and in terms of operator utility also reinforce e2 by the way if you guys do have an extra castle castle off this double um but yeah uh, the main objective for this site is really going to be extending out above so the people that's going to be playing site is probably like maestro castle and who, whoever if you guys only have uh three people in sight or two people in sight it's really how you want to play it uh i would suggest putting a maestro cam all the way back here in open and then maybe another one like right above this like little kitchen um area like you can place it above and this gets you the entire angle of this site and some of this site if you have the head hole here um you guys playing this area is all cool you can even have the castle or one of the anchors you know playing on marble and then you can maybe throw a beeper down on bo bottom and then you have the run in if they try to go tellers area in terms of roaming it's really up to you who you're roaming with if you guys do have extra reinforcements which i don't think you will you can reinforce e2 or you can reinforce off you know this uh single wall right here and then make feet hole right here now the reason why you're going to be doing this is because you can you're going to want to play stock now there's many operators that you can play stock with so it's really whoever you best you know fit with so just think of utility though because they are going to go top square and you are going to get pinched so have one person maybe in janitor as well playing off of you and then if you really wanted to you could pop this hatch if you guys are dedicated to this room but the issue is you're cutting off all your you know defending angles so i wouldn't pop this hatch if you're not focusing that many bodies reinforce it and just make fuck sakes and just make rotations in the hallway um i ran out of shotgun ammo make a rotation here in long desk and then make a rotation here in jan here in janitor and uh from here the guy that's playing janitor and stock will play off each other and almost play for their lights if you guys can get a pick shoot some drones and then you know push back to site and you guys wasted like a minute in the round then you're golden you know you just got to worry about anybody on skylight but yeah your focus is going to be contesting up top wasting time shooting drones and then getting back to site okay so my stupid ass for some reason didn't start recording on my obs so i gotta redo two sites so what i said guys is basically i would go kayaks first radar second um security third and then you know last is coast guard meeting but i think meeting could be very viable if your squad is really uh on the same page okay so these this map is very and i mean very 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 aggressive but the issue i think people think uh, have is they think this map is very easy so they'll play super aggressive and not reinforce anything or make any head holes that's what i see in the average ranking so if you want to make this single head hole uh vaultable guys it's really up to you or you can reinforce it i like to get funky on this map so i would open up this put a frost mat right here for the jump in put frost's shield right here make a uh, rotate head hole and then reinforce this double reinforce this single make this head hole reinforce this single put a frost mat on kayaks and put a frost mat on locker's window now there's a bug right now in the game where you can't reinforce this hatch guys so if you play this map after watching this video and you're like damn i can't reinforce this hatch that's why but hopefully the bug's fixed reinforce this hatch reinforce the main hatch and then i would suggest going malusi placing a malusi device on trench on main stairs and then on yellow stairs over here and the rest is really up to you i would really suggest bringing like a pulse or sight because you can see if they're trench if they're going vert etc etc have three people around sight have one person playing scuba have one person playing lockers if you make this head hole and then have somebody like the pulse in sight pulsing out to give the person information you want to stack as much utility um like goo mines traps etc because it's a really pain in the ass for the enemies you can also make these feet holes over here uh for the hatch room 
Now you'll see why here in a second. Usually what I do when I roam is I bring Capcan, place EDDs all around reception in archives, and I play behind this cabinet and then just contest them, shoot drones, and then I push back as the round progresses. And then from here is I either just go down yellow or I rotate down back to main stairs. And then, you know, after time's wasted, I hopefully have gotten a pick or shot in at least four drones and I've made their life a living hell. Now, your other teammate that's roaming with you, they should um, be playing and just lurking around radio hall slash, you know, maybe, you know, watching top main because people do come down top main and then they they can rotate down uh, marble uh, main and they can watch for anybody walking in. You know for the hatch room to pinch the guy that's you know playing archives but yeah you basically just don't want to make sure they get vertical because that can be a pain in the ass now you guys can make a uh, vertical on kayaks window if you want the other roamer if you do do this and you have this person focusing radio guys just make sure that you know you guys are calming and have somebody come play top main and take that position of the second roamer so they can make sure capcan doesn't throw his life or whoever is roaming um so yeah that's how i would defend this side of the map guys Okay, so let's talk about upstairs. Now, I highly suggest going Malusi, placing a Malusi device on green stairs and then on red stairs, and then one on upper bridge. Besides that, make feet holes here on box, make holes for right here, make a rotation right here. You can also make a hole here, but this kind of cuts off your rotation. You can make a feet hole here. Make sure you guys are reinforcing all three of these walls. You guys can pop the hatch. Uh, from here, what you're going to want to be doing, guys, is also reinforcing uh, th this wall, these two walls, these two walls, if you have any extra. Frost could be great for this because you can put a frost mat on both these window jump-ins. And then, you know, the last frost mat, you can shove it up your ass. It doesn't matter. Maybe printer window over here. Cams are going to be needed, so I'd bring maybe a Maestro or Velk. Place them just around for bridge and for 90, maybe. And from here, what you're going to want to be doing is... Have somebody either bandit tricking, cage tricking, whatever. Have somebody top red contesting pill. Have somebody maybe playing around server slash top green. Maybe somebody bridge and then somebody maybe downstairs. You got to watch out for anybody walking up red and green staircase. That's what I'm telling you with the Malusi devices. Um, because it is a pain in the ass dealing with uh, staircases in this game, I find. So, yeah. Besides that, guys, don't get too over antsy. But personally, I like to jump out a window and be an idiot. But that's just me uh i would also suggest maybe like a jagger or top red place two ads's up here on pill and you know if frost has that shield still you can place a shield like on pill door like area like right here and if they throw any nades the ads's will catch it and then yeah just don't get too over antsy people will like to play way too aggressive on defense on this map which is fine in most circumstances but when you start throwing bodies in a 5v2 that's when you lose morale and you lose the the round. Um, Solus could be very effective as well. Late rotating, if that makes sense. So basically, you would play Solus, and then as the round progresses, you can have this hatch popped, drop it, and if they're going for a plant, you can deny them from uh, below. <clears throat> okay, now for this side of the map, first of all, make a rotate right here on the far wall. Um... You can make head holes right here reinforce this um you can also make you know a head hole on this cafeteria door just to be annoying and then reinforce the wall right there and then you can also make a head hole right here if you're wanting to it's just so if they do get cafeteria control they're pressured by so many angles um i wouldn't make the holes so big though where they can fall through just so you know you can reinforce these two walls or you can make feet holes. It is really up to you on that behalf. Malusi is very strong on this side of the map once again. So you can place a mail device, you know, uh, model like lower bridge. And then you can place one maybe bottom red or like in museum. Or I would suggest definitely having one for upper bridge. Now what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to set up stairs kind of like how you set it up when the bomb's up here. Make holes here reinforce uh this double wall you don't need to reinforce this wall though reinforce the hatch as well i would also make holes for the jump in or walk in here guys just so when they do thermite or ace the breach they have to you know run through and then have somebody just watching that um you can make a rotation into server 
and then have somebody placed top green slash server area just waiting for the jump in and then have somebody on on uh, top red and then place some type of utility for the walk-in on pill whether that's a goo mine edd etc etc just something they'll give you you know intel if they walk in and basically play upstairs and contest them as much as possible if you get a kill and pick off some drones you can all rotate down and then you guys can play c4s if you have them and yeah the rest is really up to you and how you want to bring your creative freedom to this side of the map let's get the hatches though guys reinforce them okay so we got the coast guard side which is a very weird side in all honesty because a lot of people just don't go it make a head hole right there on the hallway reinforce this off you can make also a head hole here just so you can hold long haul reinforce this right wall right here just for the hallway so you can make a rotate um once again you can bring a castle for this window and then the other window in lounge reinforce these double walls back here i would suggest making a head hole here you can make a head hole here and then you can also make another head hole here and what i'm thinking is since you have this angle you can probably just have a head hole there and then maybe some feet holes here i don't know if i'm cooking or not i don't know i think so uh yeah or you can reinforce this and and then place a mirror on it facing towards archives and then you can still make this head hole for that long angle uh reinforce this single off i would suggest bringing a maestro or something maybe placing a maestro cam way the hell up here so they can't punch it and you get the all of a site you can pop the hatch and then you can have somebody playing downstairs like a pulse just make sure you have a mel device or barbed wire for this yellow area um you can place it like maybe right here for sound or whatever whatever because they will try to get this double wall place the other maestro cam you know maybe back here really up to you where you want to place that to be honest um and you can't reinforce this hatch uh okay <laughs> They're also going to come up, come down from top white. So make sure you have a Mel device or, you know, some type of barbed wire or utility for that. Maybe also barricade this off. Or if you have an extra castle, castle this off. And then, yeah, they're going to probably also come reception. You can also maybe give them a good old castle right here if you guys want it to. Or on the double. You really just are doing that to waste their utility. And yeah, you can, you can make the site work. This is a, this, this can be a solid site, guys. Just a lot of people just don't go it because they think it's completely dog ass. Okay, now in terms of which site I would go first, if I'm in a five stack, I would go kitchen dining, bar gaming, and then master bedroom. But if I'm solo queuing, just go master, snowmobile, and then bar. Now, I'm trying to normalize these sites for the average player. So let's start with kitchen gaming because it is a very great site. It's just a little bit more complex. Okay, so starting out, what you want to want to do, you can pop the hatch, reinforce these two main walls, make feet hole right here, reinforce that right there, make a rotation station, master bait, uh, right, make a rotation right here, um, you can make a head holes for windows right here, reinforce the main hatch, make head holes for the jump in on trophy. Mm -mm -mm. make head holes here make uh reinforce on on the left there and then you can make head holes here if you want to or you can reinforce this off and then make a rotation right here which could be good just for you know the rotate capability so yeah reinforce this right here and then in terms of uh like reinforcements upstairs since you guys are going to be extended up top what you're going to want to do here guys is one second make a rotation if you guys want to uh reinforce the double right here and then you can make maybe either feet holes or head holes here it's depending on how aggressive you're going to be playing up here i would suggest bringing a rooney castle could be good as well um you can bring both so you can castle off big window you can castle off canine door you can a rooney gate this double piano and you can castle off maybe bathroom window or you know if you really want to get annoying you can go downstairs back downstairs and you can castle off this uh this site door um since you guys are you know once again you know reinforcing this 
you can make a bunch of pools just for the main wall so when they do try to get main wall you can shoot them off but the issue is once again you're gonna have pools here so if you want to you can have somebody starting at the start of the round library shooting drones and then maybe rotating by the bar hatch and then you, they can come up snowmobile stairs or what you guys can do is reinforce this instead which actually do this do this don't make feet holes and then make head holes here and then what you guys can do you now can play vert and then you have a little bit more space to play aggressive and you know the person that's pushing the piano double is going to be stuck and in, in just getting double swung you can also make a rotation right here in the closet for the person roaming um you can also make head hole here for solar you're just gonna have to watch you know these windows so make sure you break the glass in terms of operator selection i would definitely bring the Arunier castle um frost could be good for you know windows like that window west main windows um and then maybe a malusi or somebody like with barbed wire for west main and then you put barbed wire on this you know dining hallway and maybe even a maestro could be very effective because you can place a maestro cam like right here and if once they get the wall and they try to go for plant at least you have that information right and then you can place the other maestro cam wherever the hell you want so personally that's how i would play this site um once again operator selection is really up to you in the long run but yeah you can also make a long angle by the way guys for uh for dining okay so next is bar make a rotation over here on the far bar side reinforce this single right here pop the site hatch you're going to be extending upstairs in library guys make sure you make a head hole right here and then you can make a head hole right here reinforce this right here the single and reinforce this or if you want it to get funky you can make uh feet holes that's just another angle that the person dining has to worry about um when they're pushing the hallway in terms of operator selection i would bring a mel you can place a mail device on top snowmobile or just a mid snowmobile make sure you're reinforcing off this single as well guys bring somebody with a shield and bring jaeger you're going to want to be placing one ads top mez and then two ads's for a shield that's going to be placed on top library a rooney could be effective here you can place a rooney gate on this double right here and also a rooney gate on this double just for any nades or whatnot coming out Frost could be good as as well guys because you could place a frost mat right here and on the window and then maybe even on um top mez i sometimes like to make feet holes on this office area because you know if they start pushing office you can have somebody uh that's mez go top fireplace stairs and just peek it and get an easy frag make a make a reinforcement right here and then make head hole right here you can also make holes right here or you know double right there and then reinforce this wall where i just made a punch hole and then you can make head holes here basically you want to want to have three people around this area one person playing library one person playing um library hall for the shield slash the staircase and then you're going to want to have somebody top mez just helping the person in library the other two you should definitely have one person in bar stock just holding it down and then the other person is going to be really lurking i would say maybe fireplace stairs maybe blue stairs um maybe even roaming across the map dining side just make sure you guys have quite a bit of utility so they can't just run in so for example like um a rooney gate maybe on this if you have one extra or just barricade this up mail devices on bottom uh library or bottom blue i mean and then maybe one in main lobby door like right here like the fireplace uh bar door um and then the last is really up to you but yeah that's how i would i would i would hold this down it's it's a very good strat if everybody's on the same page next is snowmobile so make a rotation right here make head hole right here reinforce this double reinforce the hatch reinforce both these double uh, uh reinforce trench pop the dining hatch now in terms of operator selection bring malusi for the staircase for main stairs and for site door also bring a mute and a cade or bandit um because you can play some mute jammers for around site for trench long angle and then you can have the bandit bandit tricking if you bring like a wamai or something you can impact trick as well to help the bandit and he can shoot the drones 
<clears throat> Azami is very strong in this side of the map, and so is Aruni. So if you want to bring one of those or both, that'd be amazing. You can set a zombie barrier here. Have some uh, area to swing off there. You can set a, a zombie barrier on pillar, and then you can kind of swing, or you can place a shield here um, with ADSs, and then you you know you guys can play off of that. Basically, you guys are going to be trying to impetrate the main wall, and then you guys are kind of I'm not going to say bunker down site, but most of your team is going to be bunkering. You can have somebody playing dining hall or fridge hall, maybe with a mute jammer on fridge, and then you can have somebody playing. Um, wine cellar door watching trench swing you can if you guys are going to extend out here make sure you have some type of barbed wire or something on west main and then maybe some type of utility for the trench run-in like for example barbed wire uh just so they have to punch it and it gives you intel so you can actually you know get a swing off besides that like this is a very simple site you just gotta make sure they don't get vertical control and open the hatches and open every single wall or it's just gonna be gunfight fiesta Okay, so next is office. Reinforce the double wall. Big head holes on the right side. Reinforce the wall right there. You're going to have a shield or something in a piano on top of the piano. This allows you to just have more peculiar angles and have more protection. Also, you're making this head hole. So if they get the main breach, you can now contest them. And it's another angle that they have to worry about when running in. I would also bring in a Rooney, put a Rooney gate on double. Put in a Rooney Gate on this single and the last Rooney Gate really up to you in all honesty. Now, people like to make the rotates wherever the hell they like. Uh, so there, there's positive and negatives to both rotates. So whatever your preferred is, do it. I will just make mine right there for now. If you come into my streams, I might make it the other way. It depends on the strat. The reason why I'm making it here is because I'm thinking about all the angles if they get the breach. And if I make the rotation here, the issue is if I also make the rotation in closet, then now the person K9 has an angle on me rotating. So that, that does suck. But at the same time, I like making head holes here for the long angle. Um, go over to master bedroom, make head angles here, reinforce this, reinforce closet. And basically you guys are going to want to have some type of utility on solar staircase, whether that's, you know, barbed wire, et cetera, et cetera, mail devices, frost mats, whatever just anything contesting them from getting control you can have somebody playing trophy stairs slash inside trophy room um if you guys really want it to get complex and annoying uh, you, you guys can make head holes on the kitchen and actually play this now what this does is this is kind of just uh, a nuisance for anybody trying to take trophy control if you are going to do this you can pop both hatches if you have any extra reinforcements you can reinforce dining and then you can have somebody playing bathroom guys and if they're playing bathroom they can hold the these holes right here watching west main because the person that's playing dining is going to be worrying about trophy and they're gonna they're, if, if they're a good team that drones out they'll notice that you're playing here so they're like okay we're, let's crouch walk up west main they'll be like doo -doo -doo, and then they're peeking into this annoying angle you can also get an angle on the windows so for example right there Actually, I forgot. You can't get it on here. I'm trolling. My bad. Uh, <laughs> you, you could technically, you know, put it right here, I guess. But um, by the way, people do not utilize West Main enough. Like the rotation between bathroom and whatnot. You can literally just sit, sit here and be a nuisance. Anyways, uh, so you can also make holes for solar window. I mean, for solar into a trophy window. Uh, but you have to worry about the double window right here. Now, you can also have people playing library area so if you do have extra reinforcements so let's go over and try to do it do 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 this painting sucks um put a reinforcement right here on the right side and then make head holes for library have a teammate over here on library hall playing off of you um it doesn't really matter how you guys play this just make sure you guys are playing off of one another you can if you're a jagger uh place an ads somewhere just so you don't get grenaded early on and basically just fall off once you shoot some drones and show presence and then once you push back into sight you have all this utility still left over so yeah i hope this wasn't confusing guys it's just <laughs> a map like chalet there's so much you can do and siege is such a wonderful game because you can do so much with site setup so positioning is something that a lot of newer players and just even veteran players don't understand like extending out is so important 
on defense and then knowing when to rotate off the extension is even more important to be honest uh, la, la. wait till i get my money right okay so on cafe if i was to play this map i would personally go kitchen bar reading and then mining um if i'm sweating and i'm in a five stack wanting to win i'll go reading kitchen bar and then mining so let's start with kitchen in terms of uh head holes and whatnot you can get very spicy on this map um so make feet holes here you can make a uh, rotation here in bakery so i see a lot of people just rotating the um making a uh, reinforcing both it's really up to you making head holes here you can reinforce off the left side and then you can make feet holes here you can make a good old-fashioned head hole for a c4 right there and then reinforce off the hatch reinforce the right side here and let's make a rotation guys i'm going to show you the most complex way to hold this uh side of the map you can reinforce off bottom white and then you're going to extend into vip have a shield around one ping and then make sure there's a gap so you can place two ads's right here and basically have barbed wire on this white platform and then maybe have somebody playing bar, like inner bar with an ads you can also bring a castle castle off this nice good old reception double you can castle off dining and then the last two castles is really up to you you can place one in small window right here or you can also place one in coat check door right here and then have somebody playing coat check late round for the head holes and yeah and the other people that's going to be playing around site is you're going to have somebody inside bakery here for this strat i would suggest bringing a jaeger and a wamai because you don't know how they're going to really attack so you know wamai playing bakery jaeger setting up ads's and then playing long bar um wamai is going to be playing bakery here and you know just shooting drones contesting them and then you can have somebody playing around prep just lingering around helping the person making sure nobody's jumping in window reinforce the single make sure you guys get the hatch place a stack of barbed wire on red if you have it and yeah or beepers it's really up to you um you can also reinforce this single right here just so you guys don't get wall banged uh smoke if you guys are able to bring a smoke it's just he doesn't have a shield that's the only thing that sucks right now so i'm trying to think you would need a jagger will my castle uh last two could be smoke and frost i want to say or whoever else has a shield if you do bring a frost put a frost mat in um on default right here you can place also one on small bakery window and then you can maybe place one on you know coat check if you have another stack of barbed wire or beeper put it on brown stairs and basically from here guys you're going to be just you know wasting as much time shooting drones trying to kill people and extending it out like this does, just doesn't give them the ability to open up any walls i know it's a little bit more complex and your five stack is honestly going to have to watch this video or understand just this basic strat but yeah that's how, how i defend downstairs so next we're on to reading this is my favorite site make a rotation in laundry right here reinforce these double walls make feet holes into this reading 90 god damn it bro I, I honestly wish in custom games you can just have unlimited ammo bro like holy hell man make feet holes just across reading completely um honestly i would suggest maybe making head holes here instead because the issue with feet holes there is like you have a table and people can hide behind that reinforce the right wall right here and then make a rotation right here on white pop the laundry hatch if it will pop god damn i would suggest bringing a malusi putting a web device on reading door bring somebody with barbed wire put it on brown stairs you can play a pulse possibly maybe in train for the people that's going to be roaming above um just reinforce you know this oh, this wall and this wall if you have extra reinforcements and then you're gonna have people playing above now the people that's playing above is usually castle and really whomever to be honest um make a head hole right here reinforce this castle off this reinforce this door castle off uh this window and then make vertical for anybody trying to rush into sight 
the reason why you're doing this is because you know if people try to just walk into sight they have to worry about this angle and it's usually a free kill for the people that's playing vertical also you can make vertical holes for the for somebody playing in sight to try to watch anybody trying to get a bridging tr charge on the castle or just trying to swing the person that's in cocktail you can uh reinforce these walls or what you could do is you can make a head hole right here um reinforce this if you have any extra and then hold up make head holes in this deep angle now this is if you really want to get annoying but you have to be aware of that angle once again you'll have the pulse below playing for a c4 and then you have this long angle um you're also going to need probably utility on bottom white so nobody just walks up so that's where the mel device comes in and then maybe if you have an extra mel device you can play it place it in white hall um if you have an extra castle castle off this window and then from here you guys can just you know play all the angles play off each other and just make sure you're calming and just um if the person's playing white you can get them also to come up and help the person help the castle that's up here and yeah you guys just gotta waste as much time as possible and then if you guys get a pick or two guys and shoot as, as much drones as possible drop the hatch you don't need to you know play for your life up there because once again you have so much to play off of with the vert holes and whatnot you can even make a hole for the, the skylight drop i'm kind of messing it up but yeah you can make a hole for the skylight drop um you can do so much with this site guys this is why i like this site so much okay now for a bar make a rotate right here reinforce this wall uh you can make a head hole here if you guys want it to you can also place like a maestro cam like right here if you bring maestro or a bulletproof cam whatever make a rotation in freezer reinforce freezer off make a rotation in the bathroom make head holes on cart wall make sure you guys break open the bar this is the most annoying part bro just make sure this is open the default plan i'm not gonna sit here and just break it make head hole for bathroom right here reinforce the the wall beside it reinforce the other wall beside it reinforce top red double walls and um i would suggest bringing a rooney and a zombie you place uh play a zombie in cigar lounge you can place them you know for couches you can create all these difficult angles you can place a rooney gate on the single here on the bar right here and the last one is really up to you Malusi is always strong on this side of the map as well because you know you got the white stairs you got the default plant walk in and then you got cs and the rest is really up to you what you guys want to go i would suggest bringing some type of intel um god look at that recoil control jeez uh maestro could, would be very strong here as well because you can place a maestro cam right here that's watching like the default walk in and all of that in the skylight drop and then you can also place one on c1 or c2 and what these do is like you just have an angle in the piano cs you know long bar you know trash door like you'll, you'll be golden um and i would uh, like mute would always be a good selection on this map as well because you can place it around cs place it on main wall and it's going to be a pain to ask for them to deal with that and you also have another c4 which is always great in terms of like where i'd place my bodies make sure you have somebody once again playing in piano you have somebody playing the head holes that we made in bathroom and then you have somebody in cocktail lounge watching for the heaven rush for the skylight drop for any anything aggressive like that and then have somebody playing on white like either playing on plaques here you can have somebody roaming below with a c4 or you know even go down bottom white and then you know peek somebody if they're repelling on self side because you know they like to try to contest the person in piano okay let's talk about train museum now you guys can make a head hole right here dude god damn this shit is shooting marshmallows today make a head hole right here as well reinforce this wall reinforce the wall beside it reinforce the hatch you can make head holes for both uh, you can reinforce the back walls make head holes here for reading you can also make head holes here as well just for like the pillar slash reading you guys are going to want to be extending out so you can also make a rotation here into like this reading area and you guys are basically going to be holding down pillar and upstairs control um you can also make a rotate in laundry as well 
this is a very hard attacking you know map if done right so you can also make a uh put barbed wire or some type of utility on bottom white plus put a mail device somewhere in r90 and then place maybe one as well like on the walk-in um you can also make head holes here and also for pillar you can reinforce the right side if you want to for more coverage and then you can make a rotate here and then you can make uh some head holes for you know the site and then reinforce this wall so they can't just run in and plant um <laughs> looking at the site setup man this is i could just see some people being like what the hell is this man and then if you want you can reinforce this far right wall this is basically just watching the window the you know site basically and then museum entrance if you want to bring castle castle off the, this museum entrance window this pillar double this um museum entrance as well and then you know maybe you know pillar uh snow door um make sure you have utility on brown make sure you have utility on white stairs and make sure you have utility on red whether that's a malusi device barbed wire beeper goo mine something just to stop them cross could be good for these jump in uh windows as well so basically what you guys want to do is extending horizontally as you can tell like you basically have control of the entire second floor just by doing so and you can hold like ang long angles to contest them from jumping in and trying to be rats it is a very difficult and honestly just annoying site setup but it, it works um you guys can also contest up top because what's going to happen is they're going to try to drop skylight and the hatches so what you guys could do is maybe make some rotations um <laughs> upstairs and play the head holes kind of like what we did and then maybe you know just if you have extra reinforcements reinforce off red and then even pop this hatch or actually reinforce this hatch don't pop it i'm trolling i'm sorry and yeah just play, have two people maybe playing above and fall back if needed maybe one person in sight with a maestro or something or something of cams and then you have the other two people playing off each other for a pillar and then once the people that's roaming above and you know have to like rotate back in the back downstairs they can just kind of retake and play off the people pillar slash uh a site and if you guys need to retake you can retake it's not going to be the worst retake site to be honest because you have all these holes watching every single angle so make sure you're playing the angles ah! now when going tellers you reinforce this wall you can be a nuisance and open up this wall right here and then open up head holes here or feet holes and then you can place like a maestro cam somewhere like for example like right here and then you can have like a observation blocker like around this area just watching the bottom square but if you don't want to do that just reinforce this off make a rotation into sight jesus man jesus what the hell um reinforce the hatch make a rotation vaultable right here make head holes right here you can also make a head hole right here or you know the if they walk in that breach reinforce all four of these back vent walls go over to passport and reinforce detention area right here you can make a rotation in passport if you want jesus come on come on you can also make head holes on this uh passport wall and the reason why i'm saying you can is because you need to be playing off of it if you're going to do it so basically in terms of operator selection this is really up to you um i would really suggest like an aruni aruni is always great guys because it blocks so many door frames and sh she just has a uh, 1.5 with a dmr and defense so she, she just hold long angles and she can just do great shit also um you can have somebody playing customs and then you can have somebody playing here on east worrying about the you know the east balcony east uh door and then passport and then you know this east triple and you can also have that person in customs just holding it down have maybe one person in sight like a maestro um or whoever the hell you have and then make sure you have somebody playing in vent and the person that's east can can now adjust and help the person that's roaming above the person that's roaming is above is really up to you guys and how you guys want to play it just make sure you reinforce the hatch like i said um the person that's in sight can watch the office jump in if you guys are being pressured by office it, there's a lot of communication involved needed here if the person that's roaming is like solace or 
you know whoever vigil just make sure you guys are starting out in archives army lockers shooting drones and then adjusting back now like i said the person that's east depending on who they are you guys could also make you know holes for break now this is very situational because you have to be you know playing the angles for this but you could technically just hold it the hell down because like you can hold so many crazy long angles on this side of the map right um the only issue is you're gonna have to worry about this window and then east door so there, there's going to be a problem here unless you bring a castle or something so as you can tell you can have all these angles but that's a little bit complex so i don't know if you really want to do that but it could be good just for you know late round if you are trying to get a flank off trying to get easy angles and trying to you know get a get a pick basically though like i said the roamer he wants to start army lockers maybe even pop this event ha uh, or army desk hatch and then you know just drop it if needed if you guys have extra reinforcements reinforce this army lockers and then rotate down the hatch if needed but if not needed stay above and just contest them reinforce the hatch as well okay now army lockers make head holes for this and for this i like this angle just just in case i'm trying to retake into a and i can you know kill the guy fountain or i have a long angle reinforce this double wall make holes right here for the default reinforce um right there on ping and then make feet holes make sure you make a hole for a uh, half wall watching any any grenades so you can make two of them you can have one long and one short you should be able to kill that guy you can prep this window for a jump out same with the ac window right here prep it make sure you reinforce this wall and this wall and this wall if you guys have extra reinforcements reinforce triple you can pop the hash for rotation Depending on like site setup, I would also make a rotation into 90 right here. And you guys are going to be basically playing this. Now, the reason why you're going to be doing this is because they get the wall pretty easy if you don't hold down security. And that allows them to have so much um, freedom of the map. That's just not a good thing. So make feet holes right here, guys, while you're playing this. You can maybe have a shield or even an alibi is good for this because like you can place an alibi mine on the door maybe um just like it cuts off so many annoying angles which gives you information if they shoot the alibi mine uh just make sure you reinforce this single wall right here and then basically the person that's in security will be calming with the person that's army lockers and you guys can swing together and hold cross angles together and it's very 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 helpful make sure you guys have a uh, utility on metal you can also have somebody with a shield placing a shield right here Place an ADS or two right here. Um, place any Vel cams or Maestro cams around this area, just holding the breach. And then make sure the other one's in the other site. Anybody else that's left around site, you guys can, you know, play offices area. Uh, a frost wouldn't be bad for the window or, you know, like a lesion or something. Since a lesion can hold down so many different angles with his goo mines. And you guys are basically just holding off, making sure they just don't take this area. I would pop this hatch so you guys can have an easy rotate um, for a C4 or whatever going down below. Sometimes it is a little bit more helpful when, you know, making rotates and stuff between sites. And, you, you know, you can go under and just uh, C4 below. Basically, though, guys, you just make sure you guys are intertwined and you guys are calming what you guys are doing and what you guys are playing. But, yeah, this is what I would hold. Okay, let's talk about vent. So you guys make a default rotate here, of course. Aruni is very strong on this side of the map, and so is Mew. Place an Aruni gate on the single, on this double, and then on, on window. If you don't want to place one on double here, you can place it right here on server door. This might be better for long-term um, map control, because light round, you can reset the gate. You can make a hole right here for the army locker walk-in. Pop the hatch. Make sure you guys reinforce the tension walls which is these two walls, if you didn't know. And then from here, make sure you guys are extending above. Now, the reason why you guys are extending above, guys, is because you are once again playing for their jump in and for their site control. You can make so much vertical control and deny plant 
just by playing all of these holes while doing this you guys are gonna have to worry about this double wall so reinforce it maybe you could bring a castle technically you can castle off this single you can castle off sandwich you can castle off um archives if you guys really wanted to commit to this if you think they're going to take this reinforce the hatch here and basically just play vert bring denial for the wall so once again get a mute jammer up here just for you know the main wall and really make their life a ha like a pain in the ass to deal with besides that you're gonna have that person um playing above you're gonna have two of them and then you're going to have the utility for West Main or Main Door, which is going to be Mel Devices, um, Aruni Gates, etc. Make sure you're also playing a Mel Device on Blue. And then you have one for maybe Deeper Walk-In or just Archives right here. Just something where you get audio if they're trying to pinch you. Besides that, have a body in Customs. You guys can make all sorts of silly little holes for sight if you guys really want it to and be a little quirky and silly and ha 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 because now the person can play over here and you know um try to retake sight if needed so you can hold an angle for a blue hallway top metal you can peak supply window and be a silly goober besides that you're just going to want to watch for people going tellers very rare that people go tellers nowadays though Last but not least is we got customs slash inspection. Reinforce the double detention wall. Reinforce this single right here. Make head holes right here. You can make a rotation right here on this wall. And then you can make um, head holes right here. Head holes here. Or you can just reinforce this one and just keep the head holes here. Uh make the head holes as well here god oh, damn stupid shotgun reinforce the small hatch reinforce this single customs desk reinforce this hatch reinforce these double customs wall and basically you're going to want to extend your utility out horizontally so bring a lot of traps mail devices stuff like that for blue desk um they're gonna they might go for passport wall so bring a kate or bandit kate off these uh double walls and then Kade off the detention wall. Traps are, is really going to be your best friend here because you can worry about ventilation. West main, you can place a metal device right here if they get close. If they try to come down metal, like there's so much you can do in terms of that. I would maybe suggest having a body or two playing above off one another, just worrying about if they try to take sight. The good thing about this site as well, guys, is you can do so much playing vertically. So for example, if you wanted to get extra and cringy, you can go above and just watch the uh, walk in from there or even detention you can worry about detention walk in as well but if you are going to commit to something like this you're going to have to bring a castle and if you guys have extra reinforcements reinforce off this double uh castle off this door castle off that door or window castle off this double and maybe pop this hatch then because if you pop this hatch at least now you have their uh default walk in for the for the default plan on passport right um and you can hold down so much here as you can tell like you have the entirety of sight you have the hallway you you literally have everything guys and like it's actually like really good strat honestly like you can hold down the entirety of both sites um but you're gonna have to commit two bodies up here guys you can also pop this hatch instead then as well um and yeah you can you guys can do some crazy shit with this but let me know what you guys would do down in the comments. Would you do the castle strap vertically and pop the hatches? Or would you just kind of bunker horizontally? I would go pen penthouse first. Blue bar second. Hookah third. Kitchen fourth. Okay, so penthouse. Make feet holes for the drop on the hatch. Bring a castle. Castle off this double. Castle off this... Um, bathroom single castle off this hall of fame door reinforce these doubles reinforce this single wall right here boom 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 you can uh castle off this window right here or you can castle off uh hookah it's really up to you in terms of that reinforce this single um ba -ba -bum -bum. reinforce this single as well and then make feet holes 
beat holes and then reinforce this and then you can make a rotation up here on uh on back theater if you guys really wanted to and you can kind of hold down white um if you guys are going to make this rotation take that castle from 90 and put it you know right here on this single or take two castles off and take the one from guitar and then the 190 and then castle off this and then castle off luggage um place utility on white stairs and mail device barbed wire etc same here with luggage because the person that's going to be t playing top white has so many angles to worry about and is basically playing for that um you can also sit here and make head holes cams are going to be really good here by the way like a maestro cam placing a maestro cam like, around penthouse area for the walk-in is going to be great um make head hole right here guys make a rotation right here jesus christ and then you're going to want to have maybe two people um if you guys have extra reinforcements reinforce this wall and then reinforce this wall you guys are going to want to try to contest um you guys are going to want to try to contest you know the hookah push slash aqua push for anybody trying to pinch the good thing about this side of the map once again is you can go under and play c4s so the person people that die vip if you guys have a c4 and you should have like a velk or maestro once again with the intel you guys can go below and just throw a c4 and get an easy kill you're also going to want to bring di um denial like cade mute etc mute could be very good same with cade if you can bring both that'd be amazing because you can't make the head holes and then cade can deny the wall uh you could maybe even cade trick um get creative with this side guys because a lot of people for some reason like just want to reinforce everything and then that's it but get, get creative with this side so service now when it comes to kitchen make a rotate here make a rotate on kegs ah bro Ooh, i wish there was a way i can just like one punch things in in this game in like in oof. ah anyways uh i i like to make head holes here just for courtyard reinforce off these uh two walls uh da, da, da. make blue bar holes here guys uh, 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 uh. and then from here what you guys are going to want to do is reinforce the two walls besides the keg holes that i that we made make a reinforcement there um go above and reinforce off vip like for example like the, uh these two walls and what you guys are going to want to do is play above like two people i have two people just roaming above contesting anybody trying to get vert because if they get vertical control early on guys they're going to smack your guys's butt cheeks like there's no tomorrow and you're going to be very upset so you can make a rotate if you guys want um have somebody maybe playing theater if you're able to like maybe make a uh head hole so you can get the drop as well and then maybe have somebody 90. besides that the two people that's roaming above have somebody playing in in um lobby watching double or watching security you can also watch the feet holes or blue bar you're gonna have another person sitting in sight just uh shooting cams that's coming in sight any utility giving call outs on cams etc and then have a teammates in sunrise in terms of utility you kind of have to play off of how you set up the site and how you extend out so you literally use your brain literally think about like what gadgets would go well where um like a rooney like would go well in that door uh service entrance a good malusi device would go there uh same with a mel device on the walk-in from mud or just a um goo mine or something like if a legion was playing courtyard area main lobby you can put a goo mine for security and a goo mine on main lobby walk-in and yeah they're like there's so much you guys can do but basically as you can tell we're extending the hell out and you can pop the hatch for the people roaming above if they need to rotate okay so now next is billiard slash hookah i like to make head holes for the aqua area here the main reason you're going to see here in a second you're going to make a rotate here on hookah just the default stuff reinforce this single right here reinforce this vase right here like this this wall i'm about to punch right there as well reinforce make a default rotate here 
um make uh, reinforce these quad walls reinforce this double vip right there reinforce the single right here and then make head holes right here place in a rooney gates on this single place in a rooney gates on the double right there and then you can place the last rooney gates wherever the heck you want bring a shield so place a shield right here put two ads's here so you're gonna need a jagger last ads can go behind aqua bar which is right here and i would suggest maybe bringing a malusi you can put a malusi device on this box right here you can place one on cv which is cool vibes and then you can place the other one uh, either on uh hookah walk-in or you know uh middle of uh aqua or like right here uh the rest is up to you in terms of operator selection but i just like this walk-in angle if anybody you know if they start taking hookah you can kind of play like for a retake um and have a long angle and it's actually pretty effective in terms of operators i i listed out a bunch already what the hell what the what the okay now it okay cool um it's really it's really up to you besides the rest of the operators honestly but i would definitely have a person playing vase maybe somebody playing hookah bar have somebody playing behind aqua and then maybe have somebody either playing vip side just shooting drones and then falling back or have two people downstairs roaming off one another so for example they're going to take sunrise control it's very very common that they take sunrise blue bar office and the two people just play off of each other and make sure you're bringing somebody that has the utility to roam efficiently so this is always good for this because uh, drone count eliminating that's always amazing especially for a uh, post plant a pulse could be effective it, once again it's really up to your play style and your team's play style but yeah that's how it's set up that site this is going to be blue bar now make these feet holes right here and take me a good old second to make these make a rotation on the left side here make feet holes on the right side of mud right here and then reinforce this right wall as well and you can make uh can make feet holes if you want no don't, don't don't make feet holes reinforce it just make feet holes here make sure it's not so they can just crouch through it um reinforce this single right here and then make a head hole right here you can also make a head hole right here and then reinforce this wall it's just so if you are kitchen area you can kind of just hold an angle on the door make feet holes on this kitchen now i would suggest bringing a castle guys on this site castle this long haul off right there on ping castle off a mud door on ping and then castle off the kitchen window and the last castle's really up to you maybe right here on the single door reinforce kitchen uh, single you can make a head hole if you want basically the main objective here guys is going to be uh, holding down kitchen area and you know you can watch the guitar walk in if they try to get vertical um on you guys but yeah you want to have a body in kitchen just holding it down you want to have a body behind the bar holding it down probably a smoke uh, i would suggest so you can smoke out if they bring a montang it's very common that they go mud room of montang I would uh, then suggest two people maybe playing uh, security hall slash office and then another one in um, courtyard watching lobby and the footholes. You can also, you know, maybe make some holes for the person kitchen and you guys can play off one another because you have the head holes and you guys can just calm off one another. It's really up to you how you want to play that. And then you can have even one person roaming above. This is good because if they try to go for hookah, which is very common because vertical play if you do have any extra reinforcements you can reinforce the vase and you know you can try to you know kill the person and waste time and all of that the good thing about the hookah as well is i mean uh, this site is you can play vertical on the hookah door so the person that's playing you know uh sunrise they can calm and the person that's playing security hall if you just calm to watch office then you can just sit here and watch you know anybody trying to walk in and whatnot but that is very situational but the person that would be roaming uh would also hold come back to site if needed and they would you know help out smoke or whoever's playing around this area uh reinforce these double walls by the way um and yeah 
that's how i play the coastline okay so next to skyscraper in terms of which sides in the map i would go first i would go uh tea room office barbecue and then bedroom i i'm gonna just keep it very simple with this map in terms of like what i would go i'm just gonna go rank default okay so starting out on t what you're gonna want to do is make the rotates right here uh reinforce this right wall uh make some head holes right here and um do, 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 do. make a head hole in geisha make a rotation on this door right i mean this wall right here reinforce off this single right here make feet holes and drum right here reinforce right here on this single if you want you can make a head hole here for a long angle from geisha you're going to have to play the hell out of geisha though and then you can reinforce this right wall and then make a head hole here this is very uh situational it just gives you an angle for drum walk in and then for for the shrine area um besides that i would i'm trying to look if there's any reinforcements i'm missing um you can reinforce this wall right here this would be helpful and then extend out over onto office area guys you should reinforce the office double right here and then you know the top main single and then the bar single right here and then from here you guys can make a head hole into dragon let's reload and then what you're going to want to do is have two people roaming around office area in terms of operator selection i would suggest maybe a mute or a bandit i would suggest a mute just so you can mute off the single you can mute off the double you can mute off uh the single on geisha wall guys and then the last mute is really up to you but you get two people are going to be roaming around this area shooting drones making sure that you know they don't get early control and then it, once they open up walls and you guys start getting pushed back push back to terrorist guys or to drum and then the third person you're going to want is um have them pl playing maybe like a shield on shrine so they can hold this office walk-in or this top main walk-in it, it, these are very effective i'd maybe suggest putting a shield back here and then placing some ads's around this area maybe also have maybe a frost or some type of uh trap operator with maybe a goo mine or something on the window you can have one playing karaoke just for the top black uh door and then you have one geisha in terms of utility just make sure you have utility for the staircases and for the window jump ins like for example the double geisha geisha wall the uh window over here in shrine in terms of operator selection it's up to you but that's how i would position my operators ideally reinforce this double reinforce this single bring a cade i would suggest always bring cade throw a cade in the desk here and then throw a cade at the bottom here and these are invincible basically make a rotate right here on this on this wall um and then make a head hole on this right wall right here reinforce this single wall reinforce this other single wall make sure you guys have utility for main stairs like a malusi barbed wire whatever reinforce that single like i said uh you can make a head hole into dragon right here you can also make a head hole right here and then make a head hole right here now reinforce this wall reinforce this wall you can make a line right here and basically you guys are going to be extending into dragon and drum now in terms of what you bring just make sure you bring Cade and utility that will help you guys like a malusi on main malusi over here on shrine you guys can barricade this door up if you guys have reinforcements reinforce that and then barricade off drums castle could be effective it just depends on how you guys play it just make sure you have a body in dragon maybe somebody that can hold long angles you could bring in castle for this uh double right here and yeah you basically have like a long angle for the office breach make sure you have somebody on top main even top main you can hold different types of angles and then you can have somebody be close bar helping terrorists and then maybe even somebody immediately in sight it's really up to you on how you want to play that but yeah that's personally how i would set up the site here make a rotate over here 
you can make a head hole right here on this wall reinforce this right wall you can also make another head hole here if you're wanting to get funky 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 uh, to the left but we could reinforce that off more more times than not um reinforce off hold up i'm trying to i'm trying to think of something you reinforce both those walls right there uh and then make head holes in this little sushi bar all across the line reinforce both these walls back here you can make feet holes for the jump in on toilets and then basically you guys are going to want to extend above i love this extension uh personally i go castle i castle off this double i um reinforce this wall i will make a hole in drum i will i will most likely pop the hatch or i'll just play for my life and then i make head holes across this geisha and then i'll also make head holes across this you know t and then i'll castle this door for drum have somebody playing top black for me and then you know once again i'm, I'm making these head holes and then i'm castling off this tea room now as you can tell i get a direct long angle into you know into a shrine area and i also will make a rotate in between karaoke and geisha if i do need to rotate just to make my life 10 times easier and then i castle this single door off as well and then i'll make holes for vertical in sight so they can't just rush sight on my teammates i'll have the teammate once again playing top black holding my uh swing if needed and you know just making all sorts of lines of sight just to pressure the attackers a lot of people unless they're super coordinated will have no idea what the hell to do especially in this circumstance where you know we're making all these vertical holes um and horizontal holes more than likely they'll try to get my geisha wall so i'll have a bandit or mute here and then i'll probably just actually reinforce this screw the feet holes and just just mute off or a bandit or cade this um i'm just doing this for visual representation don't pop the hatch unless you're you know looking to rotate besides that in terms of body placements i would have a shield or something in pantry with like an ads or my holding this down because this is a common area where people push um same with like this area if you don't reinforce and you make head holes can't hold it down same with like th that's why i was suggesting making these head holes but the problem is see this entire wall it's only one reinforcement so that's where it kind of gets iffy unless you place like a shield right here and then you just swing right here i would suggest somebody maybe with a 1.5 time scope though if you guys are going to do this um but once again you do have this head hole here that can also counter uh help that person that's on the shield if needed and then yeah it's really up to you how you guys play that but that's just some ideas of what i would like to do bedroom reinforce this single right here you can make head holes here you can also make a rotate on this bar i don't really play this side that often guys so i'm kind of i'm kind of winging this right now i'm not gonna lie um and you can probably tell make a make a rotation right here guys and then make a head hole right here and then is there a middle wall here there is reinforce this middle wall and then once again reinforce this wall reinforce these double walls right here and then a rooney or castle is going to be pretty strong here as well place a rooney or castle on this on this wall right here place one right here and the cool thing about this is you can actually play a little bit of vertical here now it's going to be a little bit iffy because it's such a shitty angle but you can do it castle off this double or rooney gate it and then come upstairs and you're going to be pressuring upstairs so reinforce this single reinforce uh this bar single reinforce this double you can pop the hatch if you want to rotate or you want to play for your life reinforce it and from here place a cade bandit mute whatever on this double and then same with the singles do that and then basically guys you guys are just uh, what i would assume is they're going to go t over right so if you can place a shield here or some type of utility and have somebody playing behind the bar have somebody playing top main and the person that's playing bar can also alternate between you know watching splits and you know watching bar um and you guys are basically just going to be playing this entire area just contesting anybody from getting above because if they get vertical too early you guys are going to lose the round um 
so yeah and then just have somebody playing in sight sight is going to be pretty boring but yeah you could also have the person that's playing in sight play in delivery and then have somebody playing in kegs because a lot of people try to rush this double so you guys can kind of you know watch out for that but yeah i wouldn't really suggest this side of the map this isn't the best site setup by the way there probably is better site setup it's just i don't go this side of the map so it's very rare for me to give you good um advice for this site but reinforce this double by the way of which you know sites i would go i'll start off initiation then go bunk then go throne then lab last so starting with initiation let's go okay so starting out reinforce both these walls reinforce this single right here make head holes make a rotation station right here bada boom bada bing make a rotation right here as well you silly little goose 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 honk honk i don't know what's wrong with me uh make sure that you blow out this like your mom's back uh pause um just so they can't place down thermite charges or anything and open up this wall if it's electrified from here it's really making head holes on this um long haul area right here make feet holes right here so you can sniff their feet if they walk in in terms of operator selection it's really up to the bands to be honest so reinforce this wall reinforce both these walls reinforce this right here and basically why i said that is because you can bring a mirror if mirrors up you can place a mirror right here and then make head holes here or you can just generally make head holes here if you guys want and then reinforce this even without a mirror and you guys can just play for you know the swing on cash i would suggest on a rooney gate on double rooney gate on single right here and then the last rooney gate on bathroom or on this cash door if you, if you're really up to that also what you need guys need to be doing is also extending out and contesting you know cafe and contesting top arcade so they don't get early control in terms of operators that's really up to you who you want to roam with and who you want to uh contest with i would suggest maybe even reinforcing this wall just so they don't you, you know sit here and be silly little goobers and get um angles for top yellow besides that if you're playing sight i would suggest maybe even a smoke which sadly he doesn't have a shield so uh, i don't know that's just sad uh, put barbed wire on the hatch drop and then maybe on the walk-in on control you could go pulse realistically um because you can see for most of control and you can see for some of cash so that would be also a good thing and you can see for a um i don't think you can see for much you can't even see for this it's it's like oh but you can also see for cafe or see for some of you know bunk so if you were wanting to be a sneaky little snake and be annoying you can um but yeah uh extend out make sure they don't get cafe control and then push back to site as time progresses through the round and make sure you just have somebody playing inside cash so contesting balcony and okay so next we got bunks now here's something i like to do on bunks first you make the rotate in between sites don't reinforce the main wall make a rotate here on the right side and you guys are going to be extending out and playing initiation reinforce this single wall make head holes here make sure you guys reinforce this wall as well you guys can make uh make holes here as well if you were wanting to but then you have to worry about these windows so if you are just bring a castle and reinforce both these break room uh windows reinforce off i mean uh, make a rotation right there you can castle off this single with another if you are bringing that castle you can make head holes right here bring in a rooney put a rooney gate here put a bulletproof cam right here also make head holes here and here and then place in a rooney gate on cafe single and then a cafe double from here you can also make a you know rotation here you can reinforce on single if there is a mirror up you can place the mirror here with this setup and you can really be a menace to society you can make long angles here and holy crap give me a second come on shotgun come on reload 
you can make a long angles here and as you can tell this this sh even goes to uh you know the double when they start swinging and <laughs> really just a pain in the ass for them to really deal with and you can even make head holes all across this for the people that's in sight around the b chassis you can hold off bathroom and all that it's really great just make sure you have utility for yellow whether that's a mail device or barbed wire whatever whatever also for arcade stairs and when make sure you have somebody placed in cafe um you can hold this very long angle with the mirror reinforce off top yellow uh if you have that last castle barricade if you have an extra one throw it on this cafe single and then reinforce off all the walls i didn't make holes head holes in and then yeah just make sure you have a body upper arcade make sure you have a body in initiation you could also have a body in on the mirror or or on just on the head holes make sure you have a body in cafe and last one's really up to you but as you can tell we're putting so much pressure on the attackers that they're not going to be able to take this cash control and they're not going to be able to take you know office control and all this now late round if somehow they just kill the initiation guy and you guys are in a safe place you can if you do have an extra reinforcement reinforce this off and make it a pain in the ass bringing a mute would be really strong here just because of like the deniability and in, 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 in terms of like drone economy so if you do bring a mute make sure you're placing the mute outwards so for example you can place some mute jammer on cash door just so they don't drone out all the angles just yet drone on cafe i mean a mute jammer on cafe a mute jammer on initiation last one is really up to you but as you can tell this would be a pain in the ass to attack into okay so next place a uh feet holes there reinforce off this double reinforce off this double reinforce off this hatch reinforce off yellow and make uh holes above it just so you can impact trick or a c4 or whatever if they try to get the wall do that for every single one of these you're gonna want to bring a zombie just for all the sight lines that you can block off like for example right there on split um etc etc you can get very creative make sure you reinforce bottom dragon right wall right there just so they can't get a long angle in sight you can make a head hole here for the walk-in you can place somebody on dragon stairs to roam just for that angle you can even watch the jump in um before they you know open up this hatch and you're gonna want to have two people roaming above just contesting them being annoying being a menace being a nuisance being a silly goose whatever whatever um you don't want to you don't want to allow them to take upstairs presence very early so you and your teammates gonna have to calm with one another of what you guys are doing and i would suggest maybe starting out with two people on site and then the rest maybe roaming the issue here is um you guys have to be playing off one another very well or you guys are going to lose this round reinforce this wall as well so they don't get a long angle and a split even maybe even this wall because it's a pain in the ass with barrels and lucy would be very effective so would a rooney but once again those are just suggestions just bring a cade because you can cade off you know put a cade there and you can put a secret cade like right there and it can be a huge pain in the butt to get those off um when the people that's on site make sure you guys are flipping through cams for your teammates because cams are going to be very important here so even bringing a valkyrie wouldn't even be bad whether that's bringing a valk uh and putting a valk cam upstairs um arcade side even barrel side you you get lots of uh lots of info down so make a head hole here frost could be great here because you can put a frost mat on that door and then on the bathroom door uh you guys are going to want to make a rotation here make head holes here make head holes here and as you can tell you're going to be playing a very 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 silly silly game of long angles so as you can tell i can make long angles all the way out to throne you can maybe put a roomy gate on this um side door you can also put a head hole here and if you, <laughs> you guys really want to be cringe and you guys all want to extend you can literally just extend out completely but once again you're not going to be going the site unless you're trying to hail mary it and be abnormal so yeah i would suggest maybe bring in a maestro or something just in case they jump in the window as well maybe place it right here just so you know they can't just get an easy window plant and maybe even place one up here just to be a nuisance um and then you're going to want to be playing this extension out completely so I don't know if you want to make all these head holes i would just maybe reinforce all this i was just kind of like 
haha uh -huh, joking uh hee hee um but in all reality like you can be super super cringe and make these uh holes on the right hand and just reinforce the rest off and then have your maestro playing back sight um or back here whatever make sure you have two people maybe playing up top so they don't give vertical control early on pinching your teammates also popping split hatch might help you guys because you know if anybody's trying to go split they're gonna be a silly goober and die having somebody on yellow could be very effective and maybe even making a rotate for vault and top yellow and then maybe even head holes here for cafe if bringing castle would be great here as well because you can castle off this cafe single you can castle off all these random choke points like for example loggers castle that off maybe put a beeper like on this right here a rooney a rooney gate like i said up here if you guys have extra reinforcements reinforce back throne you can maybe even make a rotate in armory here if you guys want to just to uh have more space to just rotate and not be pinched by attackers um jesus christ um so yeah like <laughs> that's how i'd play it uh but once again i wouldn't suggest going this site okay so in terms of what sites i would go personally i like a good old trophy uh kitchen then aviator living room is just not a site i'll go now starting off kitchen reinforce single reinforce this middle reinforce memo uh left side reinforce this left side make holes right here make a rotation right here reinforce this in memo double make head holes on this memo single or china single i mean make a rotation station right here reinforce this uh single or if you guys really want to get funky with an extension give me a second You guys could make a rotate here because what this allows you to do is instead of you know when people start to take astro and they start to take bicycle and clock you're not really gonna expect this it's it is pretty random you do got to worry about people rushing downstairs here so you might want to put place a guma in or something down here if you're gonna play play the staircase but that's up to you if you want to reinforce it or not um i like to make some good old head holes and whatnot just in case because you're playing memo and you can hold you know laundry castle would be good here you can castle off memo door you can castle off this little bicycle area you can make a hole here for you know the jump in if you want as well and then you can also place a castle on this pantry door right here last castle could be on this um, mud room it's really up to you if you want to do that or you can you can extend out with castle and put the castle maybe living room and maybe reinforce these two walls and just hold it down because this is a very common attacking strategy and then have two people playing above now if you're playing above what you guys are going to want to do is one you can make these red holes if you want reinforce this middle wall and then you can make head holes head holes and then um pop the laundry hatch and just contest them from taking master it is going to be a pain because you're also going to have to worry about 90. So the other person that's roaming, get them the barricade skull. Get them to um, maybe barricade off trophy and you guys can play this together. Um, and then maybe make a reinforcement on one of these walls and then get him to play trophy slash bathroom. Make sure you're shooting the glass off of that. Put a hole in the astro hatch. And then, yeah, you guys can basically just contest the people from coming above and do your best job and then if they start if it, the pressure gets too hot rotate down and you can easily get back to site and play c4s or just help your teammates with anything that's happening here next is trophy so make a rotation station right here on astro make head holes on triple here reinforce these double walls put a shield on bricks you can place two ADSs there, and then if you have um, a Rooney, you can place an a Rooney gate there as well. You put a, a reinforcement on the middle here. You can make feet holes on this for bathroom. Yo, don't mind my voice cracks, by the way. Shut up. I can tell you guys are going, eee, voice cracks, yeah. Uh, you can have somebody playing in closet, maybe a Wumai or something, and you can place some my disc here. Um, you can also maybe place like a mute jammer 
like right here and then a mute jammer right here fucking voice crack uh right here would be really good because then they can't drone out this drone hole at all <coughs> a manly voice um and then you can have you know maybe like uh a zombie a zombie barrier would be good and deer because you can also place one there and it's kind of like a shield and if you br if you're bringing frost for the shield by the way you can place a frost mat on mid red you can place it on any of the jump ins like for example this jump in or closet jump in or whatever just make sure you have one or two people keep an eye out for 90 slash map slash under so you're gonna have one person playing astro one person playing the bricks and then one person maybe playing triple here and then you're gonna have another person just watching the 90 area so he can play maybe in trophy getting on cams or just playing off off of uh any audio for 90 getting on cams you have the utility on red and then the last person is just kind of roaming below or just playing off the person by playing top red and just roaming accordingly off audio okay so next is games make a rotate on the default rotate here make a head hole right here make a head hole right here reinforce this make hole for default right here reinforce off vault reinforce this double Rein uh, reinforce this left side wall and reinforce this right side pool wall don't reinforce off this because you're gonna make feet holes for anybody walking up make sure you're making uh holes for the main stairs like for example what i'm doing right here you can also make holes for you know the library door you can also make holes for you know um what's it called the god i'm, I'm having a brain part you can make the holes for like the walk-in for library from bathroom uh so what you guys are going to want to do is extend you know main main stairs so make sure you guys have a shield or a zombie barrier doesn't matter make sure you have ma main um utility like uh malusi barbed wire whatever you can place in a rooney gate on top main you can also place maybe uh or move the rooney gate and put it right here place in a rooney gates on maps on the other map store as well and then make sure you have two people maybe playing uh statue side so what you guys can do is place more utility on red like malusi barbed wire whatever whatever and then just extend out and just contest anybody that's going to be trying to be pushing over here play off one another and just be a nuisance for their mental health and then fall back as you shoot drones or as nobody comes you can even have a body downstairs pushing the r90 slash library just contesting but your main focus in terms of utility is going to be top main and then having somebody watching the bar holes here so they're helping the person top main okay so <clears throat> living room is a very abstract site so i don't suggest going it but reinforce these two uh these uh, is that i yeah reinforce those two living room walls make a rotation in the gallery you can even place a mirror here if you want it to um like right here on a hard wall watching a reinforce off a uh, bathroom or make a rotation reinforce gallery um make feet holes right here don't reinforce this and then you can make a rotation on this little, little like triple area um reinforce the other walls right here you can make uh make make uh head holes into piano here and then what you guys can do once again since you're making the head holes and feet holes you can make more here you can castle off art you can castle off this single and then you can castle off this double if you wanted to and then right here is i believe it is gallery once again so if you guys wanted to if you want to like continue the pressure of the horizontal you can make a god can i make a vault you can make a vault here 
and reinforce this instead of making rotate and then making rotate there or place a mirror on the right side here and then make the rotate um so then you can contest bikes but the good thing about this is if your teammates die that's playing piano you can just reinforce it off and it's not a big deal make sure you place a rooney gate or malusi or something here on this door and yeah uh i would suggest having people play piano since we're making all these holes you can even reinforce off this left wall right here just so you have um some type of control of uh any angles and then you can swing that you can have somebody playing bottom red area and then you can have somebody playing around kitchen slash library and not, not kitchen slash uh dining area just for anybody trying to take horizontal and then you can have one person roaming up top i i just wouldn't suggest playing this site because there's too many pieces that's going to be have to be moving at the same time Now, in terms of what uh, places I would go first is I would go party, laundry, and then green bedroom. Mechanic is so ass. So starting off party, I'm going to show you some abstract angles. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make feet holes over here on this, you know, stairs walk up area. And then we're going to make head holes on this wall right here. Now, this is a little bit different than what you normally see on party, but it honestly is great angles. So first, you're going to want to make rotates in the party. And then from here, you're going to want to make head holes on this quad like party wall. Now, the reason why you're going to do this is you're going to see in a second. So you're going to make these holes and then reinforce off these two party walls on the right. And then you reinforce off this mechanical bull. And then when you come over to games, you can make head holes on this and on this. Now, the reason why you're going to be doing this is because when you go back to the party angle, you can actually jump up and you can hold a, like a super long angle. And when they open up this mechanical bull angle, you have so many types of long angles that will contest them. Now, make sure you reinforce the middle walls of uh, party here. But yeah, as you can tell, like you have so much presence instead of just them having party control. Now, the good thing about this is you can also have a, a shield on top um, party hall right here. Reinforce this wall and you can place a shield here or a shield here. And you guys can, can basically coexist with your teammate and play off one another and it's going to be very hard for these guys to now take this control now you're going to want to place malusi gadgets or bandit wire uh, not bandit wires uh wires just in general like barbed wire there reinforce this double wall place uh play cade place a cade charge up there and maybe a cade charge up there it's going to be pretty hard for them to get it off you're going to want to bring another person with a shield so maybe a frost or something and put it on this rotation put a frost mat on both of these windows and to be honest, you can even put it on the ladder, but that can be, get shot from the window pretty easily. And the last frost mat is really up to you. Make sure you have utility for garage stairs and just play around these angles now, guys, and play around the shields that you guys have. You can have one person roaming or two person people. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have somebody in garage, somebody holding these angles and somebody on top party. If you're doing this strat, I don't know if you really want to do the shark angle because now they can just shoot you if you're playing the shield. So that is really up to you. Okay, so let's go over to laundry. Make a rotate here for piano. Reinforce this single right here. You can make head holes here if you want to be a silly little goose and try to get some goosey little kills. No, 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 no. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Hey, am I sure? I don't remember, bro. Doesn't look right. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look right. I don't know, guys. Am I trolling? What do you reinforce? Do you reinforce this? And then make idols on the... On the... I guess, yeah. Okay, so reinforce that. Make head holes there. Place in a Rooney gate on this. I would definitely suggest Rooney. Reinforce off piano. Or, I mean, picnic. But if you guys want to, you guys can make a rotation in here and actually play it maybe place a shield right here 
and maybe some ADSs on this door. You can also make a rotation here and then get back into sight if needed. It's something unique and it's something different, but you might need a castle because of this window right here. Reinforce off full. You can also, if you're bringing that castle for this strat, put a castle barricade on this single uh, hallway door. You can also place it on this window just so they have to burn utility. If you have an extra one, place it on this window. Bring a Cade, place a Cade Claw on the in, inside of bunks here. And the other one is just going to have to uh, either go under or in the floor here, right here. And then you, you'll electrify that. <laughs> Since you have the castle barricade, you can make a rotation in the site. And you just have a lot of rotation capability now. And that's just fantastic. You can reinforce the left wall right here and then make a head angle here for the window. So it's there contested. And you can have somebody roaming towards shark side, um, just helping the person that's in picnic. Um, but it's really up to you how you want to play that, guys. Oh, okay. So green bedroom, reinforce these walls, reinforce the hatch above, make a rotation station right here. Make head, uh, you can make head holes into, um, the hell is this called reptile uh make more head holes more head holes more head holes and then you can reinforce the middle here just so you have a little bit of protection reinforce off the double here and then basically you're going to want to be playing the reception hallway here you can bring a castle if you want to castle that off castle off this door as well or you can just make head holes here for anybody trying to walk in it's really up to you how, how you want to do that reinforce off this reception and then you know castle barricade that once again castle off this and then castle off the window in the hallway here and then from here you guys are going to want to extend above reinforce off the double upstairs and then make all types of lines of sight just for anybody trying to contest above barricade off shark barricade off piano once again you will have the hatch reinforced um so you can extend above and just contest them if you guys have a frost or malusi or lesion or something you guys can put a frost mat on the jump in on window here and on the jump in on this window this is good because you can also play anybody once you get this wall you can you know contest them so yeah you can also bring a mute just for the double walls right here so this is mechanic and i'm not even going to show you a site setup because i can't give you a good site setup for this I actually think this site is dog shit. Just don't, just don't go it. Unless you're like a fucking pro team and you have some type of strat. Most of the time, this map is just this side of the map is just so ass. They did such an awful job on this side. Okay, now in terms of what uh sites I would go, I would first go command, then assembly, then uh, kitchen and cafeteria, then storage. Starting out, make sure you guys reinforce both these main walls. You can make all sorts of holes for the jump in if they try to <coughs> go play window. You guys can also have like a little jump up angle here, by the way, um, which you can place a zombie barriers around this area to make this site more playable. Like for example, right here, um, I like to make head holes here. I like to also make head hole here and then make a, uh, put a reinforcement on ping. Make sure that you guys, uh, reinforce the hatch. Make sure you guys get single wall reinforced. You can um open this up and then maybe place a zombie barrier here and then play it like a shield <clears throat> you guys can also reinforce off the single here and then maybe make feet holes here if you guys were wanting to or you can you know swap it around vice versa reinforce this off you can make head holes here or feet holes here as well i mean just to be a pain in the ass to these guys and then they have to worry about these angles. You can also put a shield here and then play this if you wanted to and just be a nuisance. And then reinforce that off and then maybe place a shield or a zombie barriers here so you can hold down that angle. You're going to want to have one person roaming above just contesting them, making sure they're not getting any of the, the walls or hatches. Oh, reinforce this hatch as well. Place some Lucy gadget on the staircase and on the back staircase here, just for information. Uh, I forgot to tell you, instead of reinforcing this wall, you can make a head hole and then put a reinforcement right there. And then, yeah, just play above guys and just contest them from playing any vert. 
bring a cage for this wall and bring a cage for the other wall as well or a mute for this wall and then cage trick the other wall in terms of utility and rest is really up to you to be honest <clears throat> we're gonna go command center make feet holes here reinforce off this single reinforce off this uh i mean uh make a make a head hole here make a head hole here make a rotation on this left wall and then reinforce this right wall beside it basically you're gonna want to make a vaultable hole here you can reinforce these walls as well because you're going to be extending a connector i'd bring a frost or something for this jump in window reinforce this wall beside it reinforce the rest of rafters reinforce off the it you're going to want to bring somebody a barbed wire and i would also suggest maybe a frost once again for this jump in window maybe a rooney gate on this door and then if you guys want to um you can also bring a castle you can castle off this single door here and then place utility around this area uh there's many ways that you can play this once again but personally this is how i would and in terms of uh pressure i would maybe have somebody bandit tricking or cage tricking this wall and then you guys can just hold so many different long angles which which makes it good about this side of the map so um if you are bringing a frost and you have an extra frost mat and you're making this rotation put a frost mat on this jump in trust me this is it works it's hilarious um and then yeah <clears throat> okay so reinforce cafeteria walls reinforce off uh this right wall right here reinforce the hatch reinforce the side walls here um reinforce off this back wall make head holes here just for the side door i would suggest highly bringing a zombie here just because a zombie barriers act as shields you can place one here you can place one on this uh little chair and you can get a pixel um you can place one also just on this countertop area so you don't worry about anybody swinging your door you can also put one around this area so you can have more leverage when swinging i would suggest bringing denial for the wall maybe a jaeger and a wumai as well if you guys can maybe also bring a frost or something for this jump in and then basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have people in sight i would say around three also having a rooney gate on this door would would be helpful or having somebody um extended out in the lounge would be ideal to be honest so if you guys are not going to bring a rooney you can extend out and um as you can tell like i'm, I'm making a rotate here it's not the best though barricade off this door this goes into site hallway and then you guys can also have a rotation capability now of uh of here you can have somebody roaming and then if you guys are getting too pressured in the site they can come down blue and then you, he can go 90 and then yeah basically you don't want them to get this wall and if they do make sure it's later on into the round class of storage slash control is a very weird site in my opinion reinforce bottom garage reinforce off this double right here you can make a rotation right here in between sites um reinforce this single wall i would suggest bringing a frost for this window over here and place a frost mat um and basically you're gonna you guys are gonna have a don't reinforce this single i just realized sorry you guys are gonna extend out into lounge so barricade off this double if you have extra reinforcements reinforce off this double and place some shields around this site because you don't want them getting this area so yeah i wouldn't really suggest going this site it is a little bit more creative but it's just it's not something i've played a lot so i can't give the best advice on it but i would suggest playing um top ra rafters with like an azami maybe a zombie off rafters and hold these angles if they open this wall and just contest them and just have somebody roaming across the board around it for the zombie but once again i wouldn't really go this site to be honest uh because I haven't played it that much, so I, I can't really give you the best advice for it. Okay, now on uh, Stadium Brava, I would go Army Lockers, VIP, and then Shower slash Server. So, let me explain. Let's go. Okay, so starting out army lockers this is just like border reinforce this double wall um make head holes here make head holes here um reinforce two of these walls and then make a rotation station into office reinforce off triple 
Um, reinforce. No, no, no. Actually, here, here's what we're going to try. Make a head hole there and reinforce fountain. And then you can kind of contest them going top metal. And if they're being silly little goobers and trying to uh, take take uh, fountain. I mean, not fountain. VIP. Um, and then from here, guys, is if you wanted to, you can try to play Hall of Fame slash Penthouse. But like, I don't know, man. I, I like I, I hate this map. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to be negative or anything. But holy shit, I hate this map. Um, anyways, make feet holes. I would suggest bringing Maestro somebody with impacts as well hold on to your impacts because osa usually opens up um and when the breach gets open they usually fucking sit there with their stupid shield and they try to go for a plant now all of this is destructible by the way if you guys didn't know unlike other unlike border you can actually destroy all this so you can go pulse maybe and rotate down late and just see for them have your t have a teammate or two extend out into office maybe like an echo or whoever and you guys can kind of just contest anybody coming Hookah side, um, which is good. I would suggest Malusias are going to be very effective here once again, like on top metal, uh, and then office double, and then the last one maybe main breach. It's very rare that I've seen people come archives. They usually just go for a direct take. So cams, smokes, ADSs, like everything you need to bunker down, you're going to honestly bunker down. Okay, so next is Penthouse. Uh, kind of like what we did. We can make a rotation here. Make a head hole here. Reinforce the middle. Make feet holes on bathroom, just like the other, um, just like coastline. And I would suggest probably just holding for like 90. So what you want to do is make head holes here, of course. Reinforce the left side. Can also make head holes here as well. And then reinforce the right side. And then reinforce these hookah walls. And then maybe barricade up uh, hookah here. Having barbed wire or whatever on the CV stairs. And then you want to have like maybe like a shield facing towards, you know, hookah. And then you want to have a shield facing towards... Um, hold up, I'm thinking... You, you want to maybe another shield facing towards Jesus Christ towards maybe uh top top metal like side or even on the bomb chassis because what I'm thinking is what I see people usually go is for, for guitar and then they jump in this window um or they just go up staircases so while doing that those head holes also reinforce this make sure you have a metal device for top metal you can barricade um, army lockers or you can have a person or two roaming for archives and then have another person roaming like fountain area maybe like a lesion or something would be good in my opinion because you can put goo mines all across the board and then you can kind of help the people that's playing you know um 90 and as you can tell like triple wall this leads out to where you're going to get pushed possibly like the hookah side so you could technically make some you know head holes or something or you know a long angle if they're trying to take hookah quickly um so this wouldn't honestly be the worst extension out the only thing you would really have to worry about is one person uh like like them pushing top um like penthouse like window um so what you could do is you could make a rotation on the left side the left side here i'm forgetting about metal stairs i apologize um instead of making the right rotation like i'm trying to do and you you have quick rotation capability so that with your teammate playing in army lockers if you guys have any extra reinforcements reinforce all of army lockers by the way i'm sorry didn't mention that um but as you can tell you guys can hold quite long angles and you guys can just extend out um from here this area is completely c4 -able. so if you guys really needed to you guys could go below and c4 with like a solace or something um I, I mean not a solace like a pulse or maybe have a solace or something um just to deny them the plant because even if they get into like you know penthouse area you can literally wall bang them or see for them from anywhere besides this metal bed okay now the reason why i said server instead of um the other site is because i feel like you just have more flexibility like going on this site 
so personally i would make a rotate right here um holy crap here now you have to worry about these two walls so you can uh, double reinforce that maybe place a maestro cam or something around this area or whatever like a vel cam just so you have control and the main reason why you're going to be going this site is because you can play so much vertical play which a lot of people have a hard time clearing this map because they're so unaware of how to play it <clears throat> but for now what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to make the rotation in between sites and then you can also make head holes here reinforce the blue uh wall right there reinforce all these walls back here you're going to basically be playing above so place on a rooney gate or something on this barricade and <clears throat> make vertical control by making these vertical holes place a vel cam somewhere in sight just so just in case you get you have a blind spot you can wall bang and you guys are going to be playing above so reinforce off army lockers um if you have a castle castle off this single and just make a fuck ton of holes basically um i'm not gonna i'm gonna save you the time instead of me just making all these holes i'm just gonna show you the most primary spots where they might go which is this main wall or this window um jesus where's the window there it is besides that you guys are gonna have to really just play off one another and just barricade double and barricade most of the stuff upstairs and if you guys really need to you can pop the hatch in small right here just for a rotate which is why i suggest the castle so you can castle that and then you can just play vert like i said people underestimate how effective vert control is and her extensions so they might get overconfident and think they might have sight clear but they're going to be catching you know astray by somebody playing vertical solace would be really effective here because you don't need the exact vertical vertical lines you can literally just have your scanner out and see them planting and then just kill them okay so last but not least this kitchen make a kitchen rotates i just don't like the way that this side of the map feels and plays to be honest because you got this stupid open like area where they can just get intel of where you're at without like being um uh, being ridiculed for you know having such easy angles and like i don't know man anyways i i'm personally i would make reinforce this off i didn't make mean to make head holes i'm kind of trolling right now um make head holes on every other wall i would say though and basically what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to extend into um sunrise and also extend into uh like this tellers area now one thing you got to watch for is people just rushing tellers but you should be more than okay with playing sunrise slash mud uh you also can peek them also if you play close mud and you impact this door usually they run by to go up the staircase so you can get an easy kill just so you know besides that you guys are going to kind of just playing around like idiots and running around like monkeys to be honest um i would suggest keeping these head holes just so you can you know retake a little bit easier the issue is this main lobby is they're going to try to go through west main and they're going to go through this double so you're going to want to extend out into server maybe have a shield here and just play it and yeah overall i just say wouldn't go this site man it's it's just boring it sucks it like this map is just an l in my opinion but yeah 